hot pocket takes. It's called that. Didn't come up with a segment there. I wouldn't. Or a card. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> Wait, that's not a new segment. <laughs> no. Move along. <laughs> yeah, you can see my face. <laughs> we had a thought to do something nice and special, and then we didn't act at all upon that thought. <laughs> now I'm a kid. Now I'm a squid. Now I'm a kid. Now I'm a squid. You're talking about a real life. Escape room. Oh, man. I don't think about reality when I don't have to. Someone? Oh! 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 <laughs> Gus looking good in glasses. Review is, this is an insult. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Gus, and yes, I finally have my single. <laughs> hey, I'm Nick Meyer. Welcome to Back Pocket for Thursday, the 25th of February. Tonight on the show, we preview games. We remember reviews, we preview merch, and we review reviews. And I'm joined by the best review team in the business, and that includes... Gus, who may have lost his single, but has gained his couch friends again. Aww. Aww, that's nice. And Steph, who I was just about to say I've had a bit of a like low gross week where I've just felt a bit gross and I've just been a bit gross. But now being here, I feel so much better. And you said something nice and that makes me feel like better. Aww. Aww. Peter. And Peter, I've had the cleanest week ever. You wouldn't imagine how many showers I've had. Aww. Aww. Really? Is that what? That's like a, more know. than normal? I, I probably had... At least three this week. Since, where do you classify it? Since the last, Since the last time we were alive. Right, okay. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. one every second day. <laughs> that's not good. That's not good. That's I said good. at least. <laughs> that's not a good number. He lives in the mountains. That's true. It's been raining a lot. Do that's like 300% stand... more showers than mountain people have. And do mountain people just stand out under like large exactly. corrugated iron roofs? Is it yeah, I get a lot of fun? storm showers. No, it's been, it's been very stormy and people okay. historically die in the mountains because trees fall on them. That's a thing. <laughs> During storms, you mean? Yes. I thought you meant just, well, <laughs> I don't know. just walking down I mean, the street, boom. <laughs> the ratio is higher up there. It's, it's more trees, very, more chances. It's very windy. It's yeah. very windy. You are very down, aren't you? <laughs> more people die from trees. <laughs> trees will kill talk you. about death. <laughs> um, this is awkward because you and I are wearing our matching glasses. We are, yes. Uh, matching glasses, no longer matching colours. I have those glasses too. Not exactly the same, but they're very similar. Clear frames are great. They yes, are. Yes, but with the, like, coloured... Oh, right, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got yep. these, these little bad boys going on there. I got these having the recollection that you have worn a similar pair, and I was like, I think he's got something similar. Put them on, and the person in the shop was like, amazing. Everyone else said, like, they really look good. And you're right, clear frames on everyone mm -hmm. look great. I mean, of uh, course. Do we know what they look like on me? Did I wear those last time? No, you wore, no, you wore the aviator ones. Whoa, you throw things around with such haphazardness. Here we go. Dun, dun. Wow, so Don't handsome. Them them it's always that, it's that you put glasses on and then you bring you them bring down. Them <laughs> and you make that face. It's because blind people, I've only seen people wear glasses <laughs> in the movies and never had to wear them myself. So I assume you wear them like that. In movies? No, no. Old people wear them when they want to look down Magnify their nose them. at what they've got on their lap and then they can still see over them. Yeah. Hang on, I can't read the bloody menu. Yeah. Hang on. Hey. <laughs> You got it. You got it. That actually push, worked. Push them up your nose, like on the right up there. Now, now make a normal face. Yeah, and stop tilting down. And Look at us with anger. <laughs> there oh, there, 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 there it is. They look great. I they think they're good. good. They, they also, good. am I right in saying, because I could totally be making this up, can you see a bit more? Like, or just you feel less encroached on sort of... Oh, your, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah. like, it just, it feels like there's less of a frame around you because mm -hmm. you can kind of get light through it. I love them. Because love it's see-through. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like them. And what was the point of all that? Uh, we Because you started off by saying everyone complimented you, so I assumed the story was going to end with someone saying... I think it was that I wore them in and I was like, oh, I thought you had a similar pet. And the two of you looked at me with he's, such he's like... He's trying oh, yeah, to right. justify the fact that he wants to be you by saying that when he chose I've... these glasses, everyone in the world thought he looked amazing. Yeah. So it's not so much that he wants to be you, yeah. but he was validated by the outpouring of yeah. of love it was more as i said else. when i was like i thought you had a similar pair i meant that genuinely and the two of you went yeah right gave me that <laughs> complete like you knew you knew all along i didn't i forget things a lot where am i uh you are here on back pocket <laughs> and i'll tell you who else is here bin bin the trash tin who gifted a tier one sub to that's not my robot they have gifted a total of 25 
subs in this channel. Thank you very much, uh, Bin Bin the Trash Tin. We're on a level five hype train, so thank you very much, everyone, who contributed to the level five hype train. Thank you very much, everyone, for hanging out tonight. It should be a good show. Of course, uh, the four of us are here, and we've also got Will on the ones and twos. Will, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing good, but I've got, like, maybe three more episodes before I have something funny to say when you cut to me, so just... Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still, yeah, get, yeah. He's still getting used It'll to that. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> I expect that next week when we cut to you, you should be wearing a clear pair of glasses. Ooh, you could be wearing a different hat every time. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. I do, do have, have lots of hats. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you in a hat. I don't have lots of hats. Yeah. <laughs> funny thing that's not ready for another three weeks. If You've people, got a week to buy many hats. If people want to send hats into our peer box address, then he'll wear it on the show. It's true. Can I just say, I really enjoy how Will makes direct contact with the lens to talk to us. Because we actually don't have an eye line to him. So when he does that, we look at him in a screen like he's talking (laughs) to us. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) You're welcome to look past it to where we might be, but I guess you'd just be staring. What does that look like? Yeah, what does it look like? No, no, no. That's great. Oh, my God. Look at the lens. (laughs) That's perfect. Look at the lens. Look at the lens. (laughs) It's true, because uh, while Gus is saying that, I look up and all I can see is a monitor and I can't see Will at all. So, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I see a lot of the regular people in the chat but also uh di- wait did we just get no just a lot of people talking so hello everybody um we are excited to be here for another evening i asked if there was beer before and there is thank you very much peter you're very welcome you're very uh yeah all right he, wait, he wait, only wait. drinks one at a time that's right. And the tricks one at a time. Um, <laughs> very good. Um, how was your break? Did you have a lovely time? It was. Uh, so it was. It was great. It was really nice. I got sick on the first day there, along with mm. both of my kids. Wow. Of course, they got over it in 24 hours, and I got over it two days before we left. It was just a head cold, and it didn't really. Uh, impact too much other than I just felt a bit crap but uh, yeah it was lovely it was totally great being away from all of you um, <laughs> and uh, having that sort of like Christmas Likewise. holiday <laughs> that, I didn't, that I didn't get no it was great and I tuned into a little bit of the show when I tuned in I literally saw Will sitting on the couch and I was like well I'll just stay here <laughs> I was about to say the show fell to pieces when you left and I had to do the news and I had to host the news yep. and I f- finished the backup by saying so yeah <laughs> good good it's a strong ass <laughs> you want, you always, people always want to know that they, they feel like someone's in control yeah <laughs> i'd like more abc news bulletins that finish with so yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we uh, are about to kick on with the show there's not too much housekeeping to take care of except for the fact that we will be doing a uh, live stream tomorrow morning mm-hmm. we will nick not this morning, <laughs> uh, which is the PlayStation putting out another state of play. Apparently, there are 10 games that they're going to be talking about from 9 a.m. AEDT. So, that's 9 a.m. Sydney time. Uh, some- GTA 5 will definitely be in there. Yeah. So, keep your eyes open. <laughs> yeah. uh, there are like uh, some announced games, some unannounced games. Uh, so, we're going to be live streaming that and sort of talking over top of it and making it very difficult for you to hear anything. So, if you want to come along and experience that, 9 o'clock AEDT tomorrow on twitch.tv forward slash back underscore pocket where you are right now uh speculation on how many do we think are like they have to all be ps5 games right they said it's ps4 PS4. and ps5 yeah but but it it can't be like like they just can't i think they've had to adjust their strategy to be like we can't talk about just ps5 games yeah i imagine it's going to be i reckon we're going to see like there'll be some ratchet and clank stuff uh some maybe some death loop stuff like some ps stuff we know is will they still do death loop but now that microsoft own it I mean, I know they had like it was tied to the PlayStation yeah, yeah, yeah. in a way, but it'll be interesting to see if yeah. they still are like Deathloop is a cool PlayStation. Not title. getting delayed, is it? I think they no, would no, no, because no. I feel like people need a reason to to want to have this console, right? And if, I think they have a reason enough if if they, they can't have it, they, yeah, they can't have it. <laughs> but so, I know what you mean. Yeah. God of God of but War I, on the Horizon. If I was so, there, yeah, if I was Sony, I would want to be like you've got uh, you know two choices for this type of console, and you you know want to play all of the like hot exciting new games on it. I wouldn't be leaving that out just because it's a Microsoft. Okay, well then, like, really quickly, around the couch, any, like, outlying bets that people... Not a bet, but, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's the thing... No, that, like, no, a uh, fucking bet. Oh, Let's put some money yeah. down. <laughs> Let's look a foot. <laughs> no, like, any outlier that probably has no chance of being on it that we kind of hope will be. So, like, I oh, know, have a stab in the dark. Elden Ring... Elden Ring. Ring is, Take it. Well, no, but no, 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 I'm saying I feel in my head it's more associated with Xbox. There was the last an announcement 
I, I read something today. I didn't get a chance to actually look into it, but I read something today about it coming out in July 2021. What? Which would be oh, inc- that, incredibly that would like would did I put it on the break list? Nah, me. No one put it on the list. Um, um, okay, go with that because this isn't important. Uh, I, I would love to see Elden Ring there. Um, you get one. I, I, Moving around. What? Oh, ru- oh. Well, I was just like, we're, we're not going to all like. I would love to see Elden Ring there. There you go. You get one. I reckon we'll see Ghostwire Tokyo. Sure. Uh, there because they haven't heard too much about that and that's supposed to be coming. I really yep. want like a Naughty Dog announcement, like whether or I not was it's about to say would, just, that was going to be my thing. Yeah, yeah, whether or not it's it, just like the idea of a property that they're going to go towards now and be like, here's our new adventure or here's what we might do. That I'm hoping really for Last of Us Two DLC, at least announced, yeah. not like it's coming out soon, but like we're working on it and that's a thing. Like a story based stuff, like they did with yeah, yeah, right. right no, I meant like one each. So when we're watching it, we can be like, ah, I called this one. But if if you're going to list all of them, then you no, can well, it's all competition to this them, boy. Yeah, uh, no, well, but but my thing, is, I don't really care about like Ghost Project. Yeah, I don't really care. I I just I reckon yeah, like they'll probably have two or three things that we haven't heard of. You don't reckon they'll do a not a Nintendo, but like at the end of it, they'll be like, and by the way. Here's a little bit of Ragnarok or something, or just like here's something to be. It might be Horizon. I don't know. Horizon just feels like oh, it's yeah. not this year. Is that? I feel like they would yeah. be focusing on this year. Oh no way! You don't think so? No, I reckon they're gonna like maybe half this year, but yeah. half will be like we've still got massive exclusives. Like still be interested in us, even though you can't buy the new console yet. Like <laughs> God of War Ragnarok will have the version that runs at ten percent. Like settings, so you yeah, can play it on yeah. your PS4. <laughs> 10% settings. <laughs> we'll make it work <laughs> somehow. It's just the grey box version of the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, box, come here. Now, what do you want there? Uh, yeah, I think a, uh, anything Naughty Dog. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, I'd love something Last of Us, but uh, as I said, I'd love them to be like, hey, it's the... Not Uncharted, but it's the daughter's spin-off something or just a title. Mm. I'd be happy with a card with a title. Something, the new game by Naughty Dog. I'd be happy oh. with a card with a title. <laughs> um, or I guess like anything also, I'm trying to think of things tied to PlayStation uh, specifically. Anything uh, from Ico uh, slash yeah, right. Last Guardian. Mm. Uh, Team Ico. Right. Team Ico, thank yeah. you. Uh, and Ga- uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah. Anything from those guys as well. Like an iconic Sony. Yeah, something that's like their next thing. gen kind of version of that. What about yeah. a Kojima thing? I mean, is it too soon? Do we know is it? it? Too oh, soon? No, there isn't any. I think it's too, too soon. soon. I think it's, it's too, too soon. soon. Yeah. yeah. You can only have one courier idea in a decade, I reckon. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to stew in some. Did you say one his... courier idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Courier. Yeah. Idea. Courier. Right. courier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's gonna be stewing in some yeah. like weird realms. Yeah. 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 yeah he's in. He's in R and D. He spent six years. His next weird idea for sure. In an Amazon packing facility before Death Stranding <laughs> came to him. So, <laughs> what's gonna happen now? Uh, oh, I love it. Okay. Well, we'll find out what happens tomorrow, and hopefully, you'll be there with us. Uh, join us on Twitch for that. Uh, uh, let's talk about the games we have been playing and not speculating on the ones that we have not got our hands on yet. It's our gaming week, which means it's time to ask. I'm just saying, what you all been playing? Brought to you by Brent Jones, aka Loki Cat. There he is, uh, Loki Cat, uh, who hung out a ton yesterday during my stream of Satisfactory yesterday. Oh, nice. uh, he was very helpful, and uh, I also believe he wants to do a playthrough of Persona 5 Royal. Um, these are nice facts about Loki cats nice. <laughs> that are nice things about a nice man and he didn't force me to say any of these things I'm doing it all of my own free bird I mean will I'm doing it all of my <laughs> nothing to do with birds it's all of my own free will Loki cat he was complaining that I was mean to him <laughs> thank you uh, what I hope he's been giving you shit tips and satisfactory, but dressing them up as like, what do you want to do? Yeah. You want to mine for copper around here? Like, I'm not getting copper for days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what have we been playing? Let's start with Steph. Mm. Uh, this week I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV online. That's Final Fantasy's MMO, which is probably the first like traditional MMO I've played in a long time. But wow, I did not realize how like rabid the Final mm. Fantasy XIV fan base was. <clears throat> and I also don't think I fully understood, because I feel like I dipped into it like, you know, back on Good Game like a really long time ago, but it's changed a lot. And it is a, as a lover of traditional fantasy, <laughs> the Final Fantasy realm is just bonkers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I just, I had no idea 
And it's kind of amazing. So the Final Fantasy XIV is kind of lauded for having quite a really great story. <clears throat> I think the early game is perhaps a little bit grindy as, as it is with many MMOs, but like um, the story gets really good apparently. So I'm kind of keen to see where that goes. The last two expansions of the things that I heard everyone talk about as being like, they figured out what the game is. They're yeah. telling an insane story. And yeah, I think with the sort of first iteration of Final Fantasy XIV uh, or, or Final Fantasy Online rather, like it was kind of a bit of a, a, a miss. So I watched a cutscene where they effectively like annihilated that world <laughs> and were like, we're, st it, we're starting again. It was called the Calamity or something mm -hmm. like that. And then they kind of like literally just like erased it from people's minds. How many video <laughs> games were well, like, we're going to have the Realm Reborn? Yeah. Which then, was like 2013 or 14? Yeah, yeah. Wow. a Realm Reborn. Say what you were about to say. I was going to say, like, how many times are we now going to see these uh, online worlds choose to. Uh, Collapse in on themselves and then brand it as part of their like. Well, it obviously works. Yeah, yeah. Totally. it's it's a way for to reskin a game is to say like, oh, the world blew up. And I was going to say the Japanese love a calamity. It's that uh, calamity in um, Zelda mm -hmm. Persona Five Strikers. I'm playing right now. Yep. Calamity all over the place. Yep. It's not really a word you hear that often. It's in not. It's quite old fashioned. It is yeah. calamity. It's all a bit of a calamity, calamity. Jane. That classic <laughs> Japanese tale. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, I think um, I think that's kind of also what Anthem was trying to do. Uh, and that was uh, a calamity. Mm, yeah, what a yeah. calamity. R.I.P. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so when I was trying to like figure out the early mechanics of the game, I had I told people like this is the server I'm joining in on and like this is what I'm rolling and stuff. So everyone started sending me friend requests and I just like accepted all of them. And then I had an entourage of about like ten to 15 people nice. just hanging out around me, just spawning all of their wackiest mounts. Yeah, good. So I was like trying to pick up quests and it would be like a person riding around on a giant elephant, That's a floating blue whale, somebody <laughs> on some weird cat thing. Like it was just, and then a motorbike and it was just bonkers. What a, what a fucking calamity. It was a, cal it was a <laughs> calamity, but it was actually like endeared me to the game in yeah, a way cool. that I wasn't expecting. And so that was really, really fun. Uh, and then the other thing I've been playing is uh, a game called PC Building Simulator, mm. which is just one of those ones where I was just like trolling through Steam being like, what's something that I could like check out? And uh, this came out a few years ago, I think. And of all of the simulators out there, it's kind of got the, it's kind of funny in the way it's like playing to its audience mm -hmm. of people who are interested in, you know. PC building, but it, <laughs> it's like this guy. <laughs> but it's, it's like you live with someone who does this so much like better than anyone else I know, and and that's I mean, not well. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's interesting because I feel like when you play a simulator, it's always like it's they're kind of inherently boring because yeah. they're very procedural, and it's like drive a truck and you know use the you try and like figure out how to reverse it with a trailer and stuff sure. like that. Um, but this is like you you. It's kind of got a cool setup in that you play someone who has like a PC repair shop and your uncle See. owns the shop and you're kind of looking after it oh, while so you he's get away. And stuff. Right. So you get orders. So people come through and they'll be like, oh, my computer's like got a virus or something. So you start off with like basic stuff like you just install like virus, antivirus software and you kind of like get rid of the virus. Or sometimes you get a PC that's really dusty and you have to get a little can of compressed air and like nice. get rid of the dust in it. And there stuff. you go. <laughs> 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 but then it's I've like never you, been have, so hard. you have to start managing <laughs> stuff like um people will be like oh i need a new graphics card but this is my budget and this is all i can afford and you have to order the parts before the pc arrives so that when the pc arrives you can put the parts in and ship it off to them as soon as possible mm -hmm. so sometimes like you have to really read through the email Those cable physics are sick <laughs> you have to read through the email and, and look at the pc specs to make sure that you buy like the right thing and like i had one woman say that she her fan was broken and i thought she meant a case fan but actually it was the cpu fan so i went and bought a case fan and then the thing arrived and i went to install the case fan and it was just like doesn't fit and then I, and then i looked at the available option was pcu fan a cpu fan and then i was like I haven't ordered that. And also now I'm out of pocket for the case fan that I bought and I'm not going to be able to pay my rent, which is another thing you have to do <laughs> in the game. <laughs> it's really funny. Like you're, ma you're managing a business and you have to pay utilities and stuff. And like, but then as you get better at it and you start sort of shipping off orders and you make money, you can start upgrading your like workshop and you can get like a, a few other little desks and you can buy like um, a cabinet to store all like your parts and stuff. And then you get into like liquid cooling and it gets really cool. 
It doesn't include the hardest part of any modern PC build, which is everything's got a window to look into the cool tech components and stuff. Getting greasy fingerprints on the glass or the perfect <laughs> window. Even just getting Because it just hands. disappears. Yeah. Like, I was going to say, just watch the, the ability to like <laughs> lightly plugging, click Plugging something. SATA cables in. Yeah, click, yeah. And then it goes in there and it just finds its way in. Yeah. Like I'm a real fumbler with my fingers and like I get in there and I'm just like. Ladies. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I think I, I thought it was interesting because I was like, this could actually teach you how to like build a PC. In theory, right? In theory. Oh, at least. Yeah. At least how are the like the right pieces going Even together? Even just like getting yeah. in your brain of like which parts go where and which ones are needed for what. Like I, that's something I just occasionally forget. I'm like, oh, yeah. Totally. I think the issue is cause, yeah, it definitely familiarizes you with the parts. The only issue is they've they've made some concessions because it's like it's obviously it's very fiddly as you're like unscrewing all of the parts to get mm-hmm. the like case, you know, door off and stuff like that. You have to individually unscrew. I love that you keep doing this. So when you get your computer in real life, you're like, okay, these <laughs> working. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and um and but like I think half of what building a PC is is like knowing that everything needs to be connected to the PSU and yeah. like which cables go where and stuff like that. Yeah. And they kind of like hold your hand through that part so that it's not like too tedious to play as a video game. Yeah. So you don't actually learn Right. So you don't you don't plug like a power a power into the PCU and then power uh, you do power that but it shows you it, it says this cable goes there this cable goes there this cable goes there do you know mm-hmm. what I mean it it's does, like things are lighting up to go this goes there and you're like that's yeah. the one thing you look at a computer when you're building it and go that's kind of what you need to yeah okay yeah, right 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 yeah. you don't but know why there any should of that's be happening. there okay, should right. be like a hardcore version of it that you can play where you have to know yep. like there is that's called building a PC <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah. literally look at that's got three female ports and one male port and you look around on the thing for another pins and you're like that'll take an hour for me yeah yeah yeah. but it was really fun and i kind of liked the way they'd kind of rpg'd it by making it like a whole scenario yeah yeah yeah. of like trying to manage this business and like your uncle proud and then people who would be like write emails and be like i didn't realize your uncle had gone away but it looks like you've got the place in good he's left the place in good hands keep it up and i'm like okay (laughs) but i got this cpu fan (laughs) (laughs) thank you for your reply would you like to buy a cpu (laughs) did it tap into the zen thing is that what it was yeah for sure yeah yeah, yeah. I, I can't say. And it is, and you do feel really satisfied when you ship off like a successfully upgraded PC, or you fixed a problem for someone. You know? I've been meaning to play House Flipper because I feel like it has the same. Well, that's what vibe. I downloaded initially because people suggested Great that to that, me, yeah. but I ended up refunding it because I didn't like it. Uh, okay. I think maybe I just didn't give it enough of a go because it was like the first thing, like this game, when you have to start off with antivirus and like compressed air. You don't get to do the cool liquid cooling stuff at the start. Yeah, okay, mm. right. Like the the House Flipper one was just like install these radiators, and I was like, this isn't. <gasps> fun <laughs> like cleaning calms me down i literally came in here this morning and was waiting yeah. for an email for an hour so i cleaned the kitchen and i was like i feel better now already so yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. maybe that's oh, well maybe why. it's for you yeah okay uh it's for Melly mangoes who said this has been on my wish list for ages uh i just bought it um i can't decide whether or not I, because the interesting thing about those sim games is like like i think about i've done some of that like car mechanic stuff mm-hmm. and i've done some of that house flipping stuff and the appeal for both of those is like i don't know anything about cars and I don't renovate houses so it's something that I just could never do Mm. Mm. this is so close to literally things that I have done and could also just go do if I wanted to I don't know whether or not I would like it or not but yeah yeah I'm glad there's that like the simplification of it or the like yeah 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 the no clutter where you're not throwing out cardboard boxes totally totally. it's like it's like that that organizing house game thing yeah where where I'm like oh the appeal of it is just like that the process, mm. totally. and, then, and then you're done. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. Lindsay Bovin says all the houses in House Flipper are the ones from Phasmophobia or something. <laughs> are they the true? same models? Even the more, maybe That's they're the so same funny. models. That's They've already funny. been so in them. Yeah. Is one of them a terrifying log cabin with axes everywhere? <laughs> you got to clean up those axes. But when the lights are on, it's, it's just divine. <laughs> yeah, It's cozy. <laughs> uh, Peter Burns. That's me. You build PCs. Have you been playing that as a game as well? I have not been playing that, no. Shower simulator? Uh, shower with your dad, Sim. Ooh, it's a classic. <laughs> classic. Uh, I, how exciting that trailer was! I know that God, song that was, was in my head that for song ages. Was incredible. <laughs> that now song it's was gone, incredible. but it was it was like it was. Uh, it was pow- Kanye's, Kanye's power, power yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, something dad in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I remember exactly. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, sorry. I've been playing a game called Contraband Police Prologue. Uh, it's only the prologue that's available at the moment, but I played through this a couple of hours. It's um, been a slow month. <laughs> <laughs> it popped up and I was like, this is clearly trying to emulate Lucas Pope's 
magnificent Papers, Please. Yeah. Papers, Please is one of the greatest gaming experiences I've ever had. It's very simple. If you haven't played it, please go and play it. Um, this takes Papers, Please uh, and puts it into a 3D space and kind of tried to make more of a game around the the concept of, like, checking papers and, like, <laughs> uh, letting people... It is it is Border Patrol. Uh, people are trying to get into your uh, country and you need to determine whether they're eligible to. Um, it's not necessarily that there's just criminals you're trying to stop. It's that someone's got the wrong letter in their name on their passport and yeah, their right. visit oh. visa. So it's like <laughs> you, you, you're cross-checking... The shit that actually gets you in yeah. trouble. <laughs> totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the setup is that uh, it's like, yeah, it's like an, a fake European, um, Eastern European place. It's like you get driven out to this, uh, this uh, border um, checkpoint as the new recruit, the last one, got arrested for corruption. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so it's like, don't fuck up like they did. <laughs> uh, and you get taught how to um, go through your manual and cross-check all this information. And, of course, that's not the interesting part of the game. The interesting part of the game is... Uh, the conversations that you're having with people in the cars, yep. uh, the the concept of not letting someone through when it's like, it's not as detailed. I think it will be when it's finished, but this is just the prologue. I think it will be more detailed in like, oh, my kids are across the border and I want to get across to them. Mm -hmm. You're actually you can, checking the car for contraband. So, yeah, so contraband is the is the big feature of this is like, it, there's a lot more criminals in this than there were in Papers, sure. Please, where it was very much like sob stories, which were the interesting, like human yeah. stories. Yeah. Yeah. This is like someone's got trying to get cash across the border in their tires. And so you cut open tires and you check the tires and pull stuff out. Wow. You pull out all the agricultural equipment out of trucks that come through and go yeah, and check right. them for contraband. And so I was like, okay, this is the game. You press that button, a car comes up, you go through your checklist, you clear them, uh, and and they go on. And then it was like day four. It was like I got a phone call and the guy was like, can you jump in the van and drive down to the um, – drive down to, well, actually, I'd arrested people in the days prior because mm. they had contraband. And so there's a little prison at the at the Border Patrol. And, it and, was so, like, and sorry, this is all, tonally, this is all, like, totally serious. This is very serious. It's not yeah, like yeah. the contraband, there's no jokies. No. Okay, yep. There's okay, a cool. bit, like, there's a there's a little bit of um, the tongue-in-cheek of it being, like, uh, like, look how uptight yeah. these Eastern European nations are. Like, yeah. there's a little bit of, like... It's a little bit in your face, mm -hmm. so it doesn't feel serious in that way. But take, the game takes itself seriously. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. So you're doing all this for for like a purpose. You get money based on how well you do that kind of stuff. I was going to say, yeah. What's the directive here in terms of you don't have a quota of people you need to arrest or anything? No, making money. I feel like I, I, job. I was I was trying to put this off as long as I could, but I, like the the thing that doesn't work at all in this game so far that works so well in Papers Please was that. You get paid at the end of the day, no matter what, right? You just mm. you might get caught out for doing something you shouldn't have done, but like you you work, you get your day's paycheck. Whereas in this, it's like anytime you let someone through, it's like that was a perfect clear. You checked all the right things. Like it check it double checks your work. Yeah, right. And the game double checks your work. The voiceover guy goes like, "Yeah, we saw that. You let someone in; they shouldn't have been let in." And it's like. Well, what the hell's my job then? Yeah, yeah. And there's and it loses um, yeah. that element of being like, I'm going to let this person in because I feel for them. Yeah. As opposed to, like, and and I'll I'll still get paid. Yeah. Mm. Like you just lose money and then you don't get punished for letting someone through that mm. shouldn't have been through. Game other than you got five dollars less. Yeah. Right. Um. But anyway, like the the, I hope they find out a way to to reconcile that, and I think it is just not paying you to do a perfect clear because that's like. What's the point in that? Mm. Um, get your paycheck and you can spend it on buying new items to help you check for contraband. You have to go and buy your own knives and stuff, <laughs> yeah, right. which is also kind of stupid. Um, and they have like a durability. So if you break your knife checking too many tires, you can't check for contraband properly. And then you'll get a bad pass. Um, <laughs> you gotta... Everyone's like, Mike, Gu sorry, Gus, move your mic up. I'm like, I can't. Uh, <laughs> um, we'll sort that in the outbreak yes. memory. Um, Sorry, you had a day four story. Yeah, so day four, I've got these people who are in the prison, the, the, the holding cell at my base. I put them in the, the bus and we drive off into a little world. Where there's back roads, yeah, there's right. streets, there's a, there's a lumberjack and lumberyard. There's a little like uh, town kind of like shopping, like convenience store. And there's the prison where I had to drive these people to to drop them off. Mm. Which, as you said, was surprising because you literally thought the game was in this bubble. Going to be, yeah, let the car in, 
let yeah, him through right. or send him away. And so it's like there's m- there's more game and like this is the prologue and there was a demo like five months ago or something like that. This is the prologue which has like story baked into it. So the commissioner like talks to you a fair bit and is like, we need you to be doing these things. We want you to become a better cop like at, at the Border Patrol and we want to give we want to rank you. I ranked up. They gave me a, a rank up for doing a job really well and stuff like that. So I was like, it ends and... Uh, it ends on a story beat that's like, there's more to come, uh, this prologue. So it's like, it's a, it's interesting that they saw what Papers, Please did and tried to build something more out of it. Mm. I think mm. there's a lot of missteps, but there's also like a lot of potential. Mm. So I'm interested to see what it becomes. And it, I know it's weird to talk so much about this game. That is just like a man just swinging, swinging at Nothing a, in here? At, Nothing <laughs> in here. At the All upholstery right. in someone's, go. someone's like car. You're like destroying this person's car. Yeah, and, and then you just send them off. <laughs> Bye. It's like, but it's that thing of like, well... The police uh, have way too much power. Totally. Yeah. And it's like, they can't do anything He's about it. He's driving away in his cut-up car. And he's behind them. <laughs> yeah. Perfect clue. Yeah. <laughs> it does have... One thing that does work at the moment is um, is that someone who's sitting in their car will be like, come on, like, hurry up. And it's like, you feel you feel that pressure when you're yeah, going through right. your checklist. And it's like, fuck, I'm taking a long time to do this. Like, I've got to cross-check everything. And they're like, come on, I'm trying to get across the border. And you're like, fuck, just wait a minute, please. You're just, <laughs> as they're asking, you're just cutting their upholstery. Yeah. Hurry up. <laughs> uh, so you yeah. slash their, how do they drive away when you slash their tires? They right can't. The like, tire. They can't if you slash their tires. Uh, you've totally destroyed the car. And, <laughs> and there's someone... But they, they had alcohol canisters hey, in their in their it. tires, and that person is now going to be under arrest. Um, <laughs> so, so that yeah, there's like other there's other police <laughs> there's other police in the um, vicinity as well. So you go and talk to your your mate who goes like he's the guy that just gets the cars out of the way yeah. if mm. if someone gets arrested. And right. there is the cell over here, and there's a guy there's a warden with his feet up on the table, just like watching the prisoners in the cell, <laughs> like and he's having a cigarette or whatever. So it's like there's there's there is potential here for something really interesting, but I f- I feel like the the things that they've changed that I've seen so far that change um, the skew from Papers, Please have been have damaged the concept as opposed yeah. to adding to the concept in terms of how the Border Patrol stuff works, yeah. which was the interesting thing, the moral totally. choices Totally. It was, it was the message of Papers, Please that made it so incredible mm, and yeah. this feels like it doesn't have that same quality. It's also so strange to see it use what looks like such a janky sim engine from a while ago. Like yeah, in yeah, terms yeah. of yeah. that that feels like a game Watson that feels old for sure. Totally. And again, Papers Please was a smaller development team and it chose a really lovely um, aesthetic that made it look really designed. But like that looks like it could use with a kind of simplified paired back cell shaded uh, something just to make it a little less rough on the eyes when everything is trying to be ultra realistic and not hitting the mark anywhere for me. Like yeah. I've, tr- I've trouble <laughs> playing those kind of games because they just look so ugly. Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah. again, Again, it's not the point. It's just the the, the dra- window dressing. But <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I'll be watching this one very closely. <laughs> Did it have a release months. date? Uh, not that I'm aware of, but I didn't yeah. really go hunting for it. It kind yeah, of like yeah. I got hit with this shock ending, which is like weird and absurd. Hmm. Not that, like not. It's still serious and like and a grounded thing, but it was just like oh fuck, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and, and so then I'm like, okay, like I'm interested to see what they do with it. And um, I didn't chase up when a release date was, yeah. but and then yeah. the reveal that it was actually Skyrim Cops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It like faded to black and then faded back in, and I was on a cart, and there was a there was a <laughs> very Nordic man across me. You're awake. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a crap opening to a video. Game. <laughs> that whole scene takes. So but long. I. Yeah. Is it crap? <laughs> We've all done it maybe seven times <laughs> on every exhausting. console. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, speaking of exhausting and crap and iconic, Angus, what have you been playing? Wow. Front loaded <gasps> there. Uh, I have been playing Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection, Resurrections, <clears throat> uh, which is a spiritual remake of Ghosts and Goblins, which is an arcade classic, uh, a console classic. It's been ported to pretty much everything um, and had heaps and heaps of sort of sequels and remakes and uh, reinventions, all that kind of stuff. This is the latest. Um, and it is a game I actually played a lot of as a kid. Um, I played heaps on... I actually played a lot more of Super Ghouls and Ghosts, which was the Super Nintendo mm. version, um, which I loved. The NES version was the same as the arcade one, which is kind of what we're seeing here. Um, but again, it's it's a, it's a it's a remake in parts. It's hitting all the same beats, uh, locations, weapons, uh, enemy types that were seen in the original. But I don't I, I don't remember the original level layout 
one for one, and I don't think it is, as I said, a complete direct remake. Um, it is super old school. It is super brutal difficulty. Um, it is definitely not everyone's cup of tea, but I, as I said, I played a lot of it and I remember it well, and so I was just really excited to try it. Um, honestly, it was the look of the thing that made me pull the trigger on it. Um, why did I stand that ladder? Damn it. Um, <laughs> that it's gone with this uh, kind of picture book style, hand drawn, mm. painted art style, which I, I would say wouldn't be for everyone. I think part of it comes from the fact that um, basically, yeah, it's a brutally hard side scrolling platformer. Um, you play art. Arthur, who is a, a knight who... There's no story. Who has to go and save a kingdom and, and rescue a princess? Um, and that's summed up in a very simple cutscene at the beginning. Um, but he iconically has this run that he's yeah, had through yeah. every version of the game, yeah. um, which uses his whole arms and all his legs, which I feel is why they went, let's just ratchet that up a little bit um, and go with this kind of marionette puppet style. That's totally what it's um, like. And everything has such a fluid movement, almost too fluid, that it feels like everything is a, is a bit of a puppet. Um, and, uh, yeah, I, I, that, that plus some of the backgrounds made me go like, I really want to see how this looks on my big TV, and I love the way it looks. Um, it, it scales up Scales nicely, up really yeah. nicely. Yeah, cool. um, it has some brutally difficult things. This is going to get cropped out, but fuck this platform. Uh, this is, a, this is a, a platform that just doesn't behave like platforms should in platform. Yeah. Oh, it's, like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's doing... Oh, yeah. okay. There's so many little things like that which just make you think, what the fuck were they thinking? Yeah, um, and then I you, love that. You're just like, yeah. I just wanted you to put oh, more God. quarters in. That's, well, that's the thing. It does come from the era of, like, you know, penny-pinching, coin guzzling mm -hmm. arcade machines. Um, what makes this uh, really... Uh, this is on Switch, and what makes it uh, really approachable or, or the reason I will keep playing it is that there's four difficulty levels, uh, and they're really well designed. Um, there's a murderously difficult and a really hard, but the two lower ones, which is the one I'm playing it on, um, let you take more hits. He famously wears armor, and I think in the original it was armor, and then you went down to your boxer shorts, yeah, and, and then you die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and he like yeah, famously runs around in these um, these like love sh uh, love heart printed boxer shorts. Cute. Um, I think the mode, uh, the the second easiest difficulty I'm on, or the third hardest if you want to put it that way, is I've got a few extra bits <laughs> of armor to fly off. <laughs> Feet like that, um, and I think uh, the the next one down, the easiest difficulty comes with the ability to respawn on the spot, which is like unheard of in terms of that game, but it's there, I think, because it is so bloody difficult. Um, it's making it a bit more accessible. Totally. And the yeah. difficulty here comes from some really frustrating elements, which I won't lie. All of it, right? Like uh, the running, it's the, the movement combat, and the, the combat. It's just like designed. Yeah, yeah. It's it always is. been a game that's like frustrates me because I go like, y you are designed to be, to be difficult, not sure. difficult, and and it's something that you just overcome. It's like it's just even watching it being played is kind of like, oh yeah, there's. This there's just all this shit on screen just yeah. to make sure you die. Well, uh, well, some of those. Uh, some of that difficulty comes from the limitations of how you could move and, and use a, a joystick or a D-pad back then because, yeah, you've only got four directions of uh, attack, so up, down, left, right, and your movement is incredibly slow and sluggish. Uh, there's no double jump. There's no kind of, like, change direction midair. Um, so, yeah, it does force you to play in a very old-school way. But I will say there are elements, and not just because it's fantasy, but there are elements of Dark Soul difficulty, or at least in the way it feels to overcome that occasionally. Mm. You learn... I, in maybe the sort of three or four hours I've been playing it, um, have learnt how to play with those limitations. And it does feel satisfying to kind of take on all the chaos on the screen and be like, Jesus, I don't know how I got through that section. <laughs> um, or, it, yeah, as I said, enemies can fire at you from angles. You can't fire back from angles. Enemies can, yeah, like, have far more manoeuvrability than you do. So, yeah, that can really suck. But then when you pull it off, it's like any game. Like, if it's difficult but you do it well, you suddenly feel like... Can I ask, and because I haven't, Please, I haven't yeah. played this new version and stuff, but when you say something like Dark Souls and you go, oh, I had no idea how, to, how I got through that, like, to me, difficult games like Dark Souls, like, uh, like, uh, like Ori or something, like see, there are things in Ori and that sort of thing where I go, oh, no, I do know how I got through that. I sure. actually, like, worked yeah. at it and figured out okay, how to do yeah. this. Whereas my memory of this game was literally that thing of, like, oh, I don't know how I got through that because... 
it was getting better. better. Yeah. I just kind of yeah. Correction. Yeah, you're right. Actually, that what I'm probably going more on there is the just the idea of something insurmountable. Yeah. And then getting past the it. relief afterwards. Yes. Yeah, sorry. That yeah, okay, it's, yeah, it's more that less of how I did yeah, yeah, it technically. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um. But yeah, learning the limitations of the controls and how the game plays. Um. But yeah, I, there's a nostalgia hit I get with this game and this series in particular. Um. And uh, it's on Switch, which I love. My platform is on that, and it's it's mindless fun that is delightfully relieving when you get through some tough sections and yeah i've i'm i really like it yeah cool <laughs> i just remembered loving this series i'm like i wonder if i still love it and i do really enjoy it so roddy cannon says strawberries not hearts on his boxes really mm. well there you go i think we're talking like single pixels moving up to like three <laughs> pixels so definitely strawberries definitely strawberries i'll keep an eye out for that the next one and it, yeah it looks great too <laughs> so uh yeah gonna keep playing that one cool um Nick i boy. have been pl- well so you said it's a bit of a dry patch Games wise. Yes. And you're right. At the same time, I've had the best two weeks of video game playing I've had in so long. <laughs> I've just, I have enjoyed video games so much in the last two weeks. And I've got a few to talk about, and I will try to get through them quickly. Um, the first one is I finished 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim mm-hmm. uh, while I was away. Uh, so kids would go to bed, my partner would go to bed, sort of like kids in next wake up. Huh? The kids go to bed and yeah, the kids in the mechs wake exactly. up. Uh, and then from like 11.30 till about 2 each night, I was playing 13 Sentinels. Um, again, this was streaming on my phone with the controller to my PS5 Oops. back at home. Yeah, Just cool. so cool. Like, I love that this that's is the world we live in where that's mm-hmm. possible. Anyway, finished the game. Loved the game. I love this game so much. The naked kids ended up having a genuine reason as to why they're naked. Thank God. Um, <laughs> uh, I think that comes from, that's like you played the game long enough that whatever reason they gave you, you're like, yeah, I'll believe that. <laughs> yeah, 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 a little bit. Fair. She um, breathes through her skin. Oh. <laughs> but it, it, is, it is so, it is, uh, what, I lo- what I loved about it was uh, because you play as all the different characters and you pick the, the, when you want to approach their stories and stuff. It, it, looking back at the story that they tell, told, it is every single sci-fi trope imaginable crammed into basically one story. Mm. And the way that they managed to do it, that you could access them from almost any direction through any character in any order, and that it all still made sense mm-hmm. as much as it could, um, is just a genuinely impressive feat of storytelling that is the thing that I love about video games, about going, oh, if you told me this story in a film, I would be less interested in it. It's it's the way that you're telling the story mm. is the more interesting thing as opposed to necessarily what the story is. That being said, there were multiple times that I'm sitting there playing and I, and I literally said out li- loud, what the fuck? <laughs> and multiple times I said that out loud. So if you're on the fence about this game, I thoroughly recommend it. It was a little long by the end. Like it was, I put about 40 hours into it. In the last like three or four hours, I was like, I get it. And I know. I'm ready for this. I video. figured it out. <laughs> you reckon more like 11 Sentinels next time? Yeah, <laughs> man. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, spectacular. I'm so glad that I made the time for it. The full title is? Uh, 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Um, uh, and and I, I actually said, my partner said to me, well, right. She was like, oh, what are you playing? I said, 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. And she goes, 13 centimeters angel's rim? <laughs> and I was like, All right. yeah, yeah, that's, it's the sexy part. <laughs> um, so there you go. Um, uh, second game that I played, uh, I played yesterday on stream, Satisfactory. So I, for whatever reason, I've been thinking about factory games for a couple of weeks now. Uh, these sort of like factory building, self-perpetuating efficiency games. Mm-hmm. I think for the same reason as the PC builder kind of thing, of just that idea of like getting something in order. Uh, and I ended up streaming this yesterday. Uh, it was a thro- toss-up between this and Dyson Sphere. Picked this because it looks very pretty, and I know some people watching had already played it. Really loved my time with this. It was 50-50 as to whether or not I would like it or I wouldn't. There it, <laughs> there is. it is. I really did. And uh, the thing <laughs> that I enjoyed the most about it uh, was the fact that it actually onboards me relatively well uh, <laughs> to be able to figure out how to play the game in a way where I kept feeling as though I was learning <laughs> and not forgetting all the really complicated things that are going on as opposed to the kinds of games that I expect that I get overwhelmed with technical information. The one thing that I'm not crazy about is that it has this, uh, it has no top-down view. So I'm just, fuck this. 
I love that when you go to us as well, it's just like, oh, oh. go on. Go on. Um, <laughs> that was very hard because I, I had to keep looking at me yeah. trying to think about what I'm saying. Oh, that's hard, isn't um, it? Yeah. And every time you adjusted his hair, it didn't move. <laughs> uh, but uh, the, the one thing that um, I wish, and I'm still quite early, I, I, I ended up making, I put everything together. The chat was incredibly helpful in how, um, in giving me a lot of Is advice. Is there multiplayer in this? I don't believe so. What am I thinking about? There could, there could be. I don't know. Factorio, maybe I'm thinking I've of? I've suggested a co-op game that was either Factorio or Satisfactory. I get the two it. confused, but one yep. is definitely co-op. Um, uh, Pick Me says, did you unlock the Lookout Tower? I did. There is, there is, the there is, there is, there is. There is multiplayer. Awesome. Right. Um, but the, uh, but um, I, when I put all the buildings and stuff down, after I finished the stream, I sort of like jumped into the game again last night and I looked at what I'd done and I went, oh, this is wildly inefficient, which is the whole point of this, of going like, okay, I realize now how I can make this better. I'm going to destroy everything. You get all your resources back and rebuild it. And that is a relatively quick process because you know what you're doing. But the problem of it being first person means it's so hard to lay things out in a way that feels like ordered mm. because you it, like you're building these really big things that it's hard to get perspective on. Mm. And I just, I kept finding that very difficult and you can use the lookout tower and that's probably going to be easier and I'll experiment with that. Um, but it was tons of fun and I, and it was a testament to the fact that I streamed it for three hours yesterday and then I jumped back in for another two hours last night and just destroyed mm. everything and rebuilt the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, I have made literally no progress. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it's in a better, it's in a better it order. It sounds like multiplayer then would be interesting in the sense that if you started a, a factory or, uh, together, you're like, let's all plan this out. If we joined yours now and be like, hey, and just got in there and started <laughs> moving things oh, around, you're like, don't touch my like, shit. Yeah. I'm no. going to do, do something awful now and, and describe a meme but we have we're having a similar thing because we're still playing Valheim and the concept of someone shared a meme today of like everyone in the game together going like I'm just going to do this simple building task and then the lower frame was uh, a, a scene from Interstellar with uh, Matthew McConaughey saying this little maneuver is going to cost us 51 years <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's 4am how did that happen <laughs> it's totally true uh, but yeah but uh, this is I love I love this I don't know why I've slept on this kind of game for so long but I, I'm really into it and I don't know whether I'll continue with this or go to Dyson Sphere which is entirely like top down planet more traditional traditional style mm. and that feels more like something that my brain likes but we'll see third game loop hero uh comes out this week i think i've had it for a while and i haven't i just haven't played it it is this could be your kind of thing big time it is a combination clicker roguelike dungeon crawler base building card game <laughs> and the idea is that you um the world like you're this warrior you wake up everything seems to be in like a void and then this loop appears, which is the, the track. So that map is actually like, if you think you're looking top down in like a hallway or something. Mm -hmm. um, and then you just end endlessly walk around this loop and monsters spawn and you automatically fight them. You have no control over the fighting. But what also spawns are those cards down the bottom that drop from monsters or you pick them up on the map. They can be um, different things that you place on the map, like tombs, vampire houses, this sort of thing, that spawn more monsters, that drop more cards, that also drop equipment and that sort of thing. And then they also drop things like rocks and mountains and fields that you place outside, uh, like on the left there, that person's yeah. placed some meadows or trees or something, and they give you resources so that when you decide to leave this loop, you go back to your base where you start building up like, oh, I've got like a smith and a cook and that sort of thing to get more stuff to go back and do stronger loops. So, right. so it's like a reverse tower defense in that mm. you build the, yes. the mobs. You, you build, you build the, the, the enemies that you're going to yeah. fight as you're going around the tracks. Yes. Yeah, okay. And you just continue and you have no control over how those fights turn out other than you know that your gear is your strength than versus them yeah. and that you have, you've planted regen items and all that. And then you right. can place other things around there that are like, uh, there's, there's this thing that's like, um, uh, like a vine or something that strangles anything that is lower than 20% health. So you know you get enemies down to 20% and if you've planted a vine tile that covers these six tiles, anything there will die 
At 20 but like you cool. just said, you are planting things there that ha- like have positive effects, like have buffs or regens. It's some have positive, it. some have negatives, okay, and then right. there are other ones where you you can destroy tiles that you've planted if things are getting too hard and that sort of thing. And right. then like the amount nice. of materials that you've got in terms of the resources, like, and I didn't realize this, but like I I was I put my mountains, I did a three by three grid of the mountains. When I put in the ninth one. It informed a super mountain that gave me like a like a strength bonus or something. So right. there's tons of tactics to what how this works. What a crazy unique concept! Totally, right? yeah. I love that. It's um, got awesome music, and the fact that it's this clicker game is also great because like I found that I was uh, I was playing it yesterday, and it was when I was putting together uh, the rundown for today, and it was literally like just, I'm sort of typing as there on my other screen, and I just look at my little hero doing their loop, and then. The gears dropped and I pause it and I equip everything and then I leave it for another like two minutes and that sort of thing. Well, so that was yeah, just cool. going to ask the control you have over the amount of loops you're doing and like if you left it and you hadn't put your tiles in a correct way, can you die? Is that the point? Like it's yeah. So you, yeah, you can. So if you die, you lose all the stuff, all the resources that you've been planting around the map and stuff, mm-hmm. or you can choose to leave at any point during your loop and go back to your camp, or there's like a campfire tile on your loop that when you go there you can then officially Rest leave mm-hmm. and take everything back to your camp right yeah, um, and then when right. you come back it's a different loop they're just all randomly generated yeah um i don't you bring know. your cards Sorry, when you into the new loop yeah yep. uh, no no, uh, no you don't what you bring into the new loop so uh what you bring into the new loop is new i, I think you have like buffs and upgrades and stuff that you apply to your character right okay um and then uh and then you um unlock new kinds of cards that can be dropped but you don't take anything in. sure dolphin yeah. pants was asking can you expand your loop or is it like a set Loop. At the mo- I've only played I've only played about an, like an hour and a half two hours of it and I have never had any chance to expand the loop. Okay. Um, but I sorry, don't just to clarify, you, you can go could. away, come back, and there are different loops. So it's like there is a way to sort of change the level or, or yes. Yeah. Yeah. Every time every time you go back to camp and come back, it's a new map. That it's not a rogue like in the way that you just you have your one loop for that life and no. see how long you can go. It's a rogue light in the sense that you go and come back and do different loops yeah okay cool and so this is so this is published by devolver and they gave this their game of the year oh wow in their their game of the year thing is like we think this will be our game of the year like this is at what we are planting our flag behind being the best game that we put out wow. so it comes out it's either out right now or it comes out really soon it's called loop hero and i am I am really, really into this game. I think, oh. it's, and like you said, it's just such a cool idea, um, and I love all the art style and stuff. So yeah, big fan. Uh, the final thing that I'll talk about: um, Persona Five Strikers. Persona Five Strikers. Woo. You did a lot with your week off. <laughs> I did I did? <laughs> um, so Persona Five. I loved Persona Five. I didn't finish it. It's about a hundred hour RPG. I got about halfway through, and then I just. Something else came out, never came back to it. I've always wanted to go back to, and I think I probably will start Persona 5 Royal. Um, Persona 5 Strikers takes the crew from Persona 5, um, but puts them in a kind of different game. So Persona is basically turn-based, turn-based uh, strategy RPG stuff. Uh, and then Strikers is like a, a, a Musu game. Musu? Musu? Is that how I yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, like a Dynasty Warriors just hack and slash 4,000 enemies coming at you on screen. Um, I'm disappointed a game called Strikers isn't a soccer game with Persona characters. And I would play the shit out of that. <laughs> there is actually an anime soccer game that came out yeah, last year that was so, supposed to be pretty good. Yeah. Um, but I would so play that <laughs> in a heartbeat. Um, so they've taken away the two things that are fantastic about Persona is the relationships between the characters and the combat. The combat is a, is a fantastic combat system. They've replaced it with this, which is something that I normally don't like. And I'm still not crazy about it my biggest gripe with it is uh, i think what everyone's kind of gripe is it is that when right now we're only battling one thing but oftentimes there's heaps of stuff on the screen it just feels like what you're doing doesn't actually like connect and impact with everything it's just these sure. like explosions of energy that wave out at enemies and deplete their health like mm. that one-to-one feeling of like oh it's not like i'm swinging a sword and i feel that i hit everybody there it's just like i'm flailing around and yeah. Things are Which happening. is fine when you're doing the turn-based version of the combat that's in the actual 
the yeah. main game, which from I haven't played, but I've heard that that's one of the better things. As you said, the combat in that game is amazing, and it can be theatrical and doesn't have to be that tactile because you're watching it and yes. you're choosing you, menus. You hit a button to say, go do that attack. You didn't yeah. actually do it yourself. But if you're going to yeah, be doing right. it yourself, you want that weighty kind of feel yeah. to be satisfying. Um, this changes up that most of kind of combat thing as a uh, where it's not just flailing about all the time, which you do, but you can still call in your personas. There's a lot more sort of like... Str- uh, tactical strategic fighting to it um and i'm while i'm still not 100 percent on it i'm i'm way more i'm way happier with it than i was two hours into the game now that i'm about seven hours into the game yeah, right. um uh in the first game you were stealing hearts from people so you were like figuring out the corruption within someone trying to fix it this one is it's all about um there are these jails that have people in there who are stealing people's desires. So the first one is this girl called Alice. She's a pop star and she basically has taken everyone who likes her. She is using that and turning it into this warped thing where they become obsessed with her and that is what is giving her power. So it always has this very dark, mm-hmm. like Persona games always have this super dark, introspective mental aspect to them. So m- mine's about a, a knight who's trying to save a, a princess. Yep, yep. Mm. Uh, this is basically the same, but just on a... It's like our intellect scale. expanded into yeah. games <laughs> or narratives. <laughs> um, but, I, um, but I am really, really enjoying this. Uh, the story stuff is not... The story stuff is interesting. Mm. It's lacking the relationship manager stuff that Persona is really known for, where you go and choose like how you will spend your day hanging out with different friends and really like growing that crew. And that's because the game, the crew in the game is the crew from the end of Persona 5. And it's kind of like... You haven't met them. You've got... Well, uh, uh, sorry. You oh, personally no, haven't. So I know half of them. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, but what it, it more is, is that it's like that gang is all together and then there's one more person coming into that gang here as opposed to it's Persona 5. It's like one person meets two, meets three, meets four, meets five, meets six and puts sure. together the crew. Now it's like the crew are all together. So now all we do is literally the story as opposed yeah, right. to like yeah, cool. we're all friends already. Yeah. So it's missing that, but it, this is like a 30-hour game as opposed to a 100-hour game, uh, and I want to be playing it right now. So mm. I think good. that's probably a good sign, Yeah. and it's making me want to go back and start Persona 5 Royal and actually play that whole Persona thing. Persona 5 sitting in my... It's like in the PlayStation uh, collection, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been I feel like I've tried to play it, and it's just not... I haven't even got to there, but I look at it. I haven't even got to <laughs> start. I stare point. at that tile and just think so many people say such positive things and yeah. say it's just, again, they would not expect liking and they've sunk 80 to 100 hours into it and I just stare at it I'm like I really want to like you and I don't know enough about you but yeah so I think I think if you just dove in and gave it like five hours which yep. I know is a big ask I don't but think it was really repetitive yes yes definitely 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 like, okay. like it, it, everything in the like Persona 4 Golden Persona 5 this everything is like uh 25% longer than it should be. <laughs> it takes everyone 25% longer to figure out the mystery. And the dialogue. 25% longer in the yeah. chatting. 25% so, longer in the fighting. Everything. That uh, stuff can break me a little bit. The music is still yeah, fucking sure. awesome. The style is still awesome. Uh, yeah, but uh, I do think if you just jump in and... Uh, Reese says here, Gus, remember your New Year's gaming resort. Right? To which I would say... No, I don't. What was it? <laughs> <laughs> was that mine? I thought that was, was it you? Oh, yeah. it is. I was like, I would play like... That's right. A, Get out of your car. A paradise, paradise killer, killer. Sure. Yeah, yeah, from yeah. start yeah. to finish. Um, I, I don't think remember that's Pete's be New Year's resolution, and I'll do yeah. it. Yeah, please do. But it is... Uh, but yeah, Strikers, Strikers is a lot of fun, and it really does feel like a sequel to Persona 5, not a full Persona 6, but, um, but yeah, uh, it's more than I was expecting from this, and I'm surprised at how much I am enjoying it considering how much I was expecting to genuinely hate the combat hmm. and I'm just kind of lukewarm on it. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that's everything I've been playing. Also... But you also want to talk about COD for But also COD dropped God. tonight. Let yeah. the man <laughs> speak, <laughs> damn it. And I also want to go back and play Call of Duty, which the new season starts tonight, and... Gus and I yes. want to get into zombies. Yes, because now there is... I mean, there's been a... I jumped on last night and played the new zombies map because mm-hmm. up until now there was like Der Machina and then they've uh, added one that's in Vietnam. Um, and now season two is bringing with it Outbreak. Outbreak, yeah. Outbreak, which is a new mode that's kind of taking place uh, in the fire team maps from Black Ops. Um, and uh, yeah, that's like a kind of more open one with zombies and objectives, but it's looser, which is yeah, what I like. like 
you it's, go to you go into the map, run around, get to an objective, do the objective, move go on, go to the X fill, and then decide whether or not you're going to get out, or you go yep. to a portal to somewhere else and better rewards, harder enemies, blah blah blah, and you just keep going. Down Which there. sounds yeah, like they're right. taking out a bit of the cryptic, like, oh, what do I do? Turn on the generator. Where's the generator? <laughs> it's, like, it's a little more like just fight puzzle, them puzzle, yeah. and enjoy that. And then yeah, cool. you mentioned I hadn't had this confirmed, but there are zombies coming to Warzone now. Zombies are in there right now. Now? Right now. The fuck am I doing here? <laughs> that was one of my favourite things about uh, blackout mode in Black Ops 3 uh, was, yeah, there were little hubs with zombies in them, but occasionally you just, like, you'd herd people into them uh, in the Warzone map areas and they'd have to have these little skirmishes with AI. AI. So, yeah, I'm going to dive into that in a big way. Maybe we'll go on some zombie slaying uh, adventures together. Totally. If you, uh, I know a few people, I mentioned this yesterday while I was streaming and talking about the zombies stuff. Um, if you're interested, if you play COD and the zombies mode and stuff, and if you want to team up with us, uh, keep an eye on the Discord because, yeah, I'm, I've never really done the zombie stuff, so I'm keen to get some people to help run through it. And, and even if we do the other ones, through. yeah, it helps to have people who kind of know where they're going because a totally. lot of them are just you start and maybe that new Yeah, because it's like that. turn on this machine and go over here and depend. Yeah, and the, uh, this runs for like 14 days, this like special event where there's a bunch of unlocks and I'm going to want to get all those and stuff. So, yeah, so we, we're just going to do a COD thing and we're just going to have to be fine with that. And so this is the thing, Steph. This is where I'm now playing a multiplayer game with the community. Yes. Where we could be friends. I will play COD if it means we'll all play together. We did it. <laughs> and I will zombies promise. Are, to, zombies are okay, I guess. I'll promise to play with all of you. Hey, Bajo's <laughs> in the chat. Hi, Bajo. Bajo in the chat. Yep, hey, yep, yep. Bajo will play zombies with us. Hey, Bajo. Definitely play zombies with us. He's a bit of a yeah, sick boy at the moment. So. Oh, oh, yeah, I saw that. That's no good. Oh, Come play ball. games with us. That'll make you feel better. Little baby. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. Yeah, it, it was kind of like there was 50% support, and then it just turned no, no, no. This show no, no, started no. with us all being super. He's sad. Super lovely. and He likes to be called our baby. Yeah. And now it's a kink. Um, <laughs> for you? Or for mm-hmm. Ad break? Uh, <laughs> I am done talking about video games. We'll be back after this short break. Reach for a deaf mint. Disclaimer, deaf mints aren't actually mints. Eating a deaf mint is tantamount to and quite literally is cannibalism. Where would you even start? If you were going to eat a human starting with the head, that means you're straight up copping a mouthful of hair and that's no way to eat a person. You should start with the feet, nibbling on each individual toe just to get used to the taste of human flesh. Then work your way up to the ankle. The shin is mainly just bone, so you won't fill up too fast like bread at the start of a meal. Then it's just one mouthful at a time until you get to the neck. And yes, now you're heading into head territory, but by this time it should all seem pretty normal and you're thinking, well, I've just consumed a whole man. What harm is a small amount of hair do to me now. Deaf Mints, available at the candy aisle in all participating supermarkets. <coughs>
<laughs> you... <laughs> <laughs> but for context, Nick the just said game. like a decision for the for the the show and company that I wasn't quite aware of yet. So my response is, don't say that. <laughs> just as we went live, <laughs> I'm not sure I agree with that. <laughs> so funny. Have we discussed this? <laughs> I put it in the Slack. Uh, we'll talk about it later. Okay. I, think, I think it's a great idea because the thing that you're worried about is is something that is only specific to you. Yeah. You are the only person who has lived with the things over and over and over again. Yeah, true. Everybody else, yeah, it's. I think it's fine. I but guess they're all on yeah. the, the YouTube ones, aren't they? Yeah, this totally. is too cryptic yeah. for live yeah, viewing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah totally. Um, so uh, anyway, we'll talk about that later and you'll find out what it is very soon. Uh, let's move on now. Welcome back. Everyone go subscribe to those podcasts and leave a five-star review. And if you do, then we'll review those reviews later. But before we get to that, it's time for a new segment. A new segment? A oh new what? segment? What? I mean, if it's, crazy. That's if it's insane. a new segment, then surely it's uh it's something we've brainstormed. Surely we've thought mm-hmm. of a clever title. Mm-hmm. Surely we've we've come up with some polish for this. We've rehearsed it. We you know, would think. You know how it's gonna sing. You would think. Pete's party, yeah. It's Pete's party time. Party. But you'd be wrong. <laughs> 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 Every time I hear it, I think it just gets a little bit worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> How? It dips How? into it. And because of the Cartman, it does sound a bit Cartman. I didn't realise the voice I was doing when I did it, but yeah. it was, I tried to make it uncomfortable. <laughs> and also because of some weird audio issues in studio before we started, we heard it about 15 times. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is Party Peter. <clears throat> Brought to you by Avexia. Uh, Avexia, one of the um, patrons who gets to own their very own segment, uh, the gameplay segment. Um, most of the time we figure that this this is a game. This is right? game-ish. This I is going to be a so game. So we'll give this to Avexia. Uh, Avexia, uh, a word that rhymes with Avexia, differentia, which means uh, it's a noun, which means distinguishing characteristics, especially in different species of a genius. Or genus. So, like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, he looked at me well. when he said that too for a second. <laughs> I was like, mm. oh. So, it's just, it's a, a little thing that makes you different. And, Avexia, the thing that makes you different is you get to own this segment with the best audio sting we've ever made. Pete's party, yeah. It's Pete's party time. Party. Good stuff. It's good stuff. It's all just good stuff. It doesn't take long to get over it, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Those are some. I, those pockets have had way too much red cordial at that yeah. party as well. I can't believe it only took you fifteen takes to do it. Yeah. Um, so party I paid Peter. for this. I paid for this. <laughs> you haven't seen the. You haven't seen the game yet. So party Peter is a new segment where Peter runs party games for us all to play. So he comes up with a party game uh, and then we all get to play it together. Oh, so we're not going to be playing the same party game every week? No. No, no, no. Oh, God forbid we, pl- we do this segment because every week. The, the party game that we're playing this week has been explained to me twice and I still don't really understand. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> you get it, you get it. We may play this one again if yeah. it's good, but yeah. we might play others as well. So it'll just be... But, but the important thing is we'll always use that time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, you, uh, oftentimes, you'll be able to play along in chat as well with these. Um, the... Uh, uh, so while those are, while everyone is getting ready f- to see what this is, Peter, mm. can you explain what our first party Peter game is? <laughs> Wait, Marsubius says I assumed this was Pete's segment to rant about audio equipment. <laughs> <laughs> if you've been to one of Peter's parties, then yeah, you just sit around as he's very he, dry. <laughs> Since they're comparing road to shore to all of the other ones. Like, Whoa. The game that we're going to be playing today is called Review Review. Okay. Uh, You guys obviously have a a long history of reviewing um, video games for various publications, Mm -hmm. some in more loose formats. (laughs) Nick (laughs) Uh, I play an hour of something and I give you my definitive opinion. (laughs) Uh, So there's this this wonderful archive of uh, these guys uh, reviewing video games, and I thought it'd be fun to bring up some of their old words and see if they remember the things that they were very (laughs) passionate about at the time. Yes. uh, But probably don't remember at all. Um, So I've got uh, two paragraphs of each game um, and I'm going to kind of break it down. Will's doing a little score tally over there. I've redacted the information that's a dead giveaway. Uh, So we're going to go through uh, one paragraph at a time. Uh, If you can guess it in the first paragraph that's redacted, 15 points. If you need both paragraphs, 
10 points. Mm -hmm. And if we have to unredact the information, five points. And if you still don't get it, mm -hmm. someone else can steal your five points. There because are it's like going to be pretty hundreds over the of games that I don't even I was like, remember. Steph is at a significant disadvantage. <laughs> I got a hand in. Is Will there a hand up yeah. from yeah. Will? Just, just for my sake, Peter, as yeah, the person, you, that understands the game the most, yeah. could you just say the point that they get? Just so I know it. 15, just so we both 10, know. 5. No, 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 when, when they, they get the it. When they get it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Just for, you know, because we both understand the game, but you, you know. <laughs> he was the one who came up I have no it. idea what Will's talking about. <laughs> He's the one who came up with it. Who, can I just say, you know you're running a ripper party when your games involve the word redacted. It's like, going to be a good party. <laughs> it's going like, to be redacted. You also know someone doesn't understand something when they constantly say, we both understand. <laughs> <laughs> Question. <laughs> question. Um, I know. I understand everything, but question. Okay, so uh, we are guessing uh, things that we've done. So it, yep. the one you give for me isn't going to be like something that Steph did. No. And um, if we want to steal someone else's, you we wait, need to wait until absolutely you yeah. open up the floor. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I will open up the floor. I want to give everyone the and full. And we have to guess the game that's being reviewed. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll start. You also with need to guess the score you gave it. <laughs> that I didn't. I didn't. Even That's follow. easy. Seven. Seven and a half. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a fan of the series, you'll, you'll love it. This one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who's going first? Stephanie's going first. Stephanie, first paragraph for 15 points. Oh, gosh. Where's our party <clears throat> music? <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <clears throat> There are also lots of different ways to approach the fight and turn things to your advantage, which is where this game really shines. The environment itself plays a big part in helping you keep large groups of redacted at bay, with barrels of fire, nests of demonic redacted, or you can release a redacted to cause havoc while you get, to han while you get a handle on things. And I love how it's not just redacted they're demonic redacted <laughs> i think we need a sound effect buzzer instead of the word redacted <laughs> that just could be so many different games okay you've had paragraph one hang on here <clears throat> i just want to hear the last sentence of that one i love how they're not just redacted they're demonic redacted mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they have meticulously mined the appropriate law from the universe to craft this story i just wish they'd done a little bit more to flesh it out uh, to flesh it out at the start to a foundation for the characters. For a, from a player perspective, it feels like some stuff happens, then suddenly you're thrown into the wilderness of Redacted with a Redacted inside you. <laughs> oh. This is like, a, this exists as a property that they've had to mine law from and apply it to the game. That is what your words would tell you. Good answer, Peter. <laughs> Good way of not giving any more information. <laughs> uh, Demonic. Redacted. Inside redacted. Me. <laughs> There's a the, uh, you're thrown into the wilderness wilderness of redacted with a redacted inside you. Inside you. Inside you. I haven't seen it on the screen, but I would recommend we don't all look at chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah avoid so chat. I yeah, glanced yeah. past yeah. it and was like, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, would you like me to unredact? Law. Yep. Law of what universe? Exactly. Barrel. <laughs> barrel that is the game. Did you say? Did you say barrels of fire? Red barrel. Barrels of fire. Nests of demonic redacted. Or you can release a redacted to cause havoc. Or you can release a redacted. <laughs> I feel like, for the sake of brevity, we're going to move on to the next. Yeah. I'll give you ten seconds, and okay. then I'm going to unredact. Oh God. Uh, if we don't steal it as well, we should reveal it by watching, shouldn't we? We're going to have a little clip here. Oh, there you go. Um, excuse me. <laughs> oh, Is that man. the buzz? No, I word. Okay, unredacted. I was on camera. <laughs> Will. The environment itself plays a big part in helping you keep large groups of orcs at bay. Oh. With barrels of nests of demo- Wait. Uh, I mean, you don't get any more points. I can just keep going and you can tell me. Nests of demonic bees, or you can release a Caragor to cause uh, havoc. Shadow of Mordor. Ah, shadow yeah. of Mordor. Yes. Bees, bees, the bees. The bees. bees. <laughs> so wait, didn't we get to steal? No, we don't no. get to steal unless that, that, that one doesn't reveal it. Okay, so Steph got her five points. Uh, let's, Damn it. Let's look at a clip. With barrels of fire. Yep. Nests of demonic bees. Or you can release a Caragor to cause havoc while you get a handle on things. I would have got oh, it with bees. bees. Look at your hair. Demonic bees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, remember I, the cadence? I, I remember the bees yeah. so clearly being a thing, but the barrels, I don't remember there being barrels in there, but also they were more like vases when I look at it. And I was <laughs> and I was thinking barrels. I was trying to visualise what that was in a game. I saw and a I, red <laughs> barrel in a warehouse. Yeah, yeah same, mm. same, same. God, that game was great. But the bees. So good. The people were like, Steph's review voice and your hair. And Steph's hair will change, I think change again with the with if we do another, if we do another game. But we'll, we'll move on to Gus. Your hair colour stays the same, uh, but uh, you de-age <laughs> wonderfully. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> Gus, your first paragraph. Voice, please. 450. Uh, <laughs> Don't. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Wait. <laughs> okay. I was glad here that you can actually see the enemies on the map, and in true redacted style, you start the encounters by either jumping on their heads or smacking them with a hammer. These battles start off quite basically, but there's a lot of depth in the timing of the attacks, which I think suits redacted and redacted well. Miss time your jump and you'll barely do any damage, but when you get the timing just right, you can open up additional jumps to do far more damage. That's the end of the first paragraph. Can I go? Yeah. Paper Mario? Wrong. Super Paper Mario? No, wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rock, can I go? Can I? I, 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 don't, I, I didn't think about. I didn't think about a uh, jumping in early and getting it wrong. I reckon I'm opening up at this point for a steal. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Well, then you'll get your second paragraph and everyone's locked out again. But you've jumped in early. Uh, if anyone wants to have a stab, but oh, it's a pretty. No, oh, I know it. Oh, oh, I, I know it. it. Oh, I know it. It's Mario and Luigi. Luigi. <laughs> Bowser's, Bowser's stomach. Your face. Luigi. It is Mario. It is Mario and Luigi, but Bowser's. it's not Bowser's anything. There's a million Mario and Luigi games, and I, this one I made like obvious that it was a bit Mario-y because <laughs> because I want the I want the full title. You're thinking Bowser's Inside Story. But yeah. Um, I, I'm gonna go to the second para. Okay. <laughs> But this is just for me. Oh, okay. It's just for this me. is just for oh, Gus. Luigi. Just for I Gus. Get, I should get something for Mario Luigi. And Luigi. <laughs> yeah, you get you get half of whatever Gus's points half are. Half of whatever Gus gets, Will. <laughs> it's not a point. on top not of cool. on top of. So he gets his full points, and you get half of his full points. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Second paragraph. I thought the redacted sequences were another highlight. While Luigi's... Oh, I didn't redact that one, but we know anyway. <laughs> While Luigi's asleep, you'll be able to perform his... Explore his subconscious. The platform itself... Sorry, I didn't read that line very clearly. While Luigi's asleep, you're able to explore his subconscious. The platforming itself is pretty simple, but there are some clever twists where you manipulate redacted's face on the lower screen to possess part of the background in the top screen. So it's a DS so game. It's, it's a Mario and DS, Luigi. It's Mario and Luigi. Like it's called like Dream Stars or something. I'm gonna mess it up, but it's like mm -hmm. so Nick can oh, have. It. I don't. But it is. Yeah, it's the one where the mechanic was all about being in a dream and sort of be like <laughs> sleep. Or Mario Sleepy Stars. Mario Dream. Sleepy Paper Boys. <laughs> Inside Mario <and> Luigi. <laughs> all right, go Nick. What do you got? Mario and Luigi Dream Team. It is Dream Team. Bros. Dream Team Bros. Dream Team Bros? Yeah, yeah. It's Dream Team Bros. Bros. It's terrible. Yeah, I, right. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Do we have a clip? Uh, we do have a clip. I'll give you both five points for being Hooray. in the area. Dream Bros. Dream Team Bros. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> we got the right thing queued up, haven't we, on the preview? Yep, cool. Is that another question? See, thumbs up. That was a thumbs up. <laughs> okay. Here's a clip. I also thought a nice highlight with the dream mm, sequences. God. You get to manipulate Luigi's face on the lower screen to possess parts of the background in the top screen. <laughs> uh, there are those fumbly fingers. <laughs> I assume that was you sitting at your edit desk with the camera pointed down at the DS. And just tickling my Didn't DS. we have like one DS that could do capture, like a modded? Yeah, it was when a modded when one. When I yeah. first started on Good Game, we didn't even have that. We just had to point a camera at the screen the camera, and yeah. just play the game. Joe built this amazing contraption which was we got sent for like a, a, a billiards game a press kit that had a little a mini pool table mm. and it had two plastic cues the, and he, yeah like this this long yeah they were about that long and so joe built uh, gog uh, built a rig that was attached to one of the old p2 cameras these are things that take like massive cards like this they're, they're a tiny old camera but like he'd taped to this camcorder these two pool cues and then 
stuck the DS at the end of the pool cues so that the lens was pointing straight at the top screen. From memory, because occasionally you had to do some gyro-based things. Or yeah, yeah. It was for the AR control. That's right. It was like, oh, this is... A look around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but like, if you were filming it, yeah, you were screwed. So Suvia says, this is Pete's equipment segment. <laughs> You got it in. <laughs> one of those parties where you go in and, start and you end up buying makeup and you never know. It's yeah. Like, yeah, it's one of those. <clears throat> All right. Avon lady. He's the Avon lady. I am the Avon lady. All right, Nick boy. Cheats for hire. <laughs> We're going to do your first paragraph. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> this is very generic. Good luck. Ugh. I love these kinds of single player adventure games. I just oh, sorry, love. Sorry. Can I ask? You may. Can I ask if this is a review I did on Good Game or if this is Pocket? Or is, uh, or is that too nah, much? Okay. Too much information. Okay. Yeah, yep. good. Yep. Uh, I love these kinds of single-player adventure games. I just love the cinematicness of it, which obviously, you, obviously you've seen with all the cinematics we've shown you. <laughs> Though I do feel <laughs> sometimes... Pocket. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's Pocket. <laughs> this is all off the top of the dome. <laughs> yeah. Though I do feel sometimes that cinematicness can work against the game because the camera control and therefore the aiming, the right thumbstick, it's very floaty. It ramps up and down very quickly. I think it's supposed to feel like every time you move the camera around, redacted, it kind of goes, Hua! That's the end of your first paragraph. Uh, <laughs> you should have said every time you move around, it kind of goes redacted. 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 <laughs> 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 redacted. <laughs> Cinematic game. Okay. No. Cinematic game, floaty camera. I mean, uh, well, so if I guess now. These guys get a chance to yeah, guess okay. at the same. Well, I'll guess, I'll guess Uncharted. Okay. That is incorrect. Okay. Got anything? I mean, hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't think I have anything. Cinematics, third person camera. God, it could be anything. No, no. It's not like when did Breath of the Wild come out? No, uh, no, okay, after now, after Google. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, Nathan. Okay. Alright. Paragraph two. Paragraph two. I think it's a pretty good indication of where we're headed with the game. The redacted uh, there were pretty simple and they didn't take too much effort to solve, but I imagine they're going to ramp up over the course of the game. Puzzles? Yeah, puzzles. puzzles. Oh. Was it Quantum Break? No. Oh, that did have a camera damn. that went, Whoa! it did, yeah. and it was cinematic. Al Pacino. And camera. there was a lot of cinematics. <laughs> yeah. Great. Partial credit? Yeah. Partial credit? <laughs> yeah. Partial credit. <laughs> <laughs> the completely wrong game. <laughs> okay. I'll unredact, yeah, and it's a dead giveaway. Okay. <laughs> so from that's the character's name, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Luigi goes, <laughs> 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 no, no, okay. Uh, I won't do all of it again. Um, uh, the right thumb thumbstick, it's very floaty. It ramps up and down very quickly. I think it's suppo- supposed to feel like every time you move the camera around Lara, it kind of goes... Oh, right. I was going to say Tomb Raider. Say, yeah, I was going to say Tomb Raider as well. As soon as you yeah. said puzzles, and I was like, no... I, I, yeah. I didn't say puzzles, I said redacted. No, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, you, we can you say tombs? puzzles in your mind. Or, or, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, it does say puzzles, but I was going to give you tombs. <laughs> you did say puzzles. I did, I, I did I think, I did think uh, Tomb Raider, but then I went, oh, I kind of... I didn't remember having a problem with the shooting, but apparently I did. Clearly you did. Yeah, yeah. Well, we have a clip. Let's take a look. It's very floaty. Oh, it, it ramps up and down very quickly. I think it's supposed to feel like every time you move the camera around Lara, it kind of goes, oh, but it kind of goes, oh, and then drops off. That makes sense. That's good. When you, when you say it in that voice, it all makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Your own voice. The voice I'm hearing all the time. <clears throat> right, cool. Okay, so that was five points for Nick there. Running tally? Will? Running tally, Will? I, haven't, I lied to you when I said I would tell you the scores. No, it's fine. I've got them all. So, Nick, you're ahead with ten mm-hmm. because you had half of Gus's. Everyone else is on five. All right. All right. All right. Still, this is uh, hard. It's so hard. Is it, do we want to do another round? Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're having fun. All right. We're not winning on that. Okay. What? Can we have another round of what? Another game. But what game? The same game. No, a different review. Hey, the titles. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, sorry. Oh. Pete's party, yeah. <laughs> it's Pete's party time. <laughs> 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 party. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and all of a sudden it's great again. <laughs> <gasps> God. 
Clip that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, round two. <clears throat> Take it. All right. <laughs> Stephanie, your second game. Oh, gosh. For 15 points. Yep. Oh, I didn't redact this one, so I'm going to redact it on the fly, and I know the words I was going to redact. There's a lot to investigate and seek out hidden, redacted and redacted that will land you more confetti, which can be exchanged for various customizables. <laughs> the more you spend seeking out confetti, the more freedom you have to be creative in the game. So it works as a great motivator. Uh, if you tear guess- Tear away? It is tear away, 15 well points. Yes! Yeah, shit. <laughs> Oh, I was going to say Viva Pinata. Me too. Good work. Nah. I thought that would be a mislead, yeah. but you fucking knew it. Yeah. All right, we got that clip queued up. Holy shit. Let's have a look. Steph winning. I thought it especially encouraged <laughs> they included a photo option, complete with Instagram style filters so that look you look can those capture your nails. favorite moments and papercraft creations as you Dog play. Dog had great hands. I just find it hilarious <laughs> that even our gaming experiences are getting hipstified. Those pants on budget. Yeah, <laughs> that must have been a Christmas special. You yeah, both look also, very totally. cool. I had a funny. That was my uh, Christmas elf hat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right, straight on to Gus. Oh, no. Sorry, everyone changes, but it is so hard to reconcile the you now with the you then. Yeah. Uh, like not because it's. Uh, I feel like you're a fundamentally different person inside. <laughs> it's crazy. Like now? Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. I feel like I've always had some, a bit of an identity crisis. I think I struggle a lot with myself as a person. And I feel like that's reflected in the way I presented myself. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that you feel complete now. And, I, and not that you didn't seem like that before, but I think looking at the two now, I think of you as a whole and complete woman and person. Like you are, you are your final form now and you will just continue to be this for the rest of your life. That's like Aww. the nicest thing you've ever said to me. That's so lovely. Thank cool. you. No that was even nicer than the time I you was... cut her hair against her will. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> that up every time Steph and I have a moment. <laughs> I feel like I was going to say I just give like less shits now, so. <laughs> That's probably That's my part of it, I think. Yeah, yeah probably. I'm the less shits person. <laughs> Fewer uh, shits. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Gussie. Gussie, so Steph is on 20 points. Gus and Nick are on 10. Gus will need 15 points. Gus will need 15. Fifteen needs points. Needs. Yeah, oh well, my goodness. For the pressure. All right. So you got to get this within the first three words, yeah, basically. <laughs> <coughs> Gus, your second game. The combat itself feels heavily influenced by the Batman series, with a strong focus on counters and linking combos together. It's obviously nowhere near as polished, and the fights can easily get messy with a wonky camera and some sluggish control inputs. But for the most part, it's a great way of literally interpreting these little skirmishes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> there was confidence that just fell off a cliff just then. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a guess, but the last little bit threw me, but I'm going to go with Hand of Fate. It is Hand oh, of yes! Fate. Oh, nice. It is well, Hand of oh. Fate. I remember a lot of my... I remember well that one done. in particular. Yeah, that was the card game that then had... I'm sure we have a clip. We do have a clip. We do have a clip. Well, Pacho, okay. well done. Pacho said right. Ellie Noir. <laughs> I think Bar 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 said Ellie Noir to all of them and then is frustrated when it's not. <laughs> all right, here's a clip. Uh. The combat itself feels heavily influenced by the Batman series with a strong yes. focus on counters and linking combos together. But for Good the most edit. part, it's a great way of literally interpreting these little skirmishes. What, none of my face? How do we how do we see how I've grown as a woman man? Like <laughs> <laughs> we'll put in a we'll put in a Gus, you are the most complete version of yourself right now. <laughs> My favourite part about... Thank you. I'm a wreck now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so much to all together. My favourite part of that review was at the beginning, I think I'm sitting at like a, a, a chair and there's cards on the table. Oh, you're right. We and they're put moving a around bit, like, and then I like, lift them up and I fire them at the camera and all these cards go flying in and the final card that flash frames is Joker Barjo face just going... <laughs> right <up. Yeah>, exactly. <laughs> nice. Good stuff. All right, Nick, are you ready for your final? I am. And I, think, I think I think you might I think you might have a shot here. Oh, oh, I hope no. so cuz those two both got the first paragraph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. 
It definitely feels like it's more at home on a tablet or a phone. It feels like a mobile game. On PC, it just kind of makes you aware that it doesn't have as much depth because you're sitting here going, in these sorts of games, I'm usually doing much more stuff. That being said, it is very polished and very smooth, except for that weird silence during the cutscenes. But it's polished in the same way that you can polish a rock. <laughs> what does that mean? Also, nothing, <laughs> nothing redacted from that one. Nothing redacted and from that. Yeah. Still a tricky one. Oh, God. Can you read the first sentence again? Yep. It definitely feels like it's more at home on a tablet or a phone. It feels like a mobile game. I guess that implies that it is on a oh. tablet and phone? No, it's on oh. PC. It just kind of makes oh, you yeah. aware of the fact that it... I thought the rock line was a thing. Is that a thing? I... I... Don't know. Uh, I mean, Hearthstone was already out when I joined. You can tie if you get it in the second power as well. Yeah, okay. See, Nick, when you don't pour over your words, craft them like Steph and I do. Mm. They are harder to that remember. That does make it harder on you. But there's only like three written reviews that you're a part of yeah, in the game. Right. So it's like, you know them all. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Go on for the tie. Give me the second one. <clears throat> could be the most wholesome episode Oh, wait. Ever. He's going to throw a guess in. Is it the Elder Scrolls card game? It is not oh, Elder Scrolls okay. Legends. Okay. Other people want to have a stab? No, for the steal. For the steal. Uh, for a win. The dating game where you just texted someone back and forth? No. <laughs> that is em a game. Emily is away. Like. Emily is away. That Emily's was good. Away. Yep. Steph? Yep. No. Well, I replayed that recently. There's also a sequel called Emily is Away 2. Yeah. Oh, oh, shouldn't that. it just be it's Emily creative. is still away? No, because it's a different... Different Emily, okay. different, different time. Moving on. Turns out Emily died. Uh. No, I think you should go to the next paragraph. Okay, all right. Obviously, you can go... Uh, obviously, as you go on, you're probably going to get more redacted redacteds and more stress points. But at the moment, the only stress point is that timer. And it's really not even that much of a stress point. I was beating it even while I'm chatting and making wisecracks about that nerdy kid. Stress points. Is oh. it wisecracks about the nerdy kid? I know what it looks like, is but God forbid I would know the name of it. Is it stress points? There's uh, the, and a timer. Mm. Uh, I don't think Darkest Dungeon has a timer. It doesn't. It doesn't, does it? No. And there's no nerdy kid. And <laughs> I'll bring the apocryphy, the kid? barbarian <laughs> and the nerdy What has kid? a nerdy kid in it? Think about all the games you've talked about tonight. <laughs> I don't because then if you look Is it cheese for hire? <laughs> is it cheese for hire? <laughs> it is. Let's uh let's find out, shall we? That being said, it is very polished and very smooth, except for the uh, silence uh, during the cutscenes. But it's polished in the same way that you can polish a rock. You know, it looks nice and it kind of doesn't have any rough edges, but at the end of the day, it's just a rock and there's not much you could do with it. Um, what a scathing review of a rock. That's such a weird analogy. <laughs> That's a good what analogy. analogy. It's good because you go, like, a rock can be shit. <laughs> it could look really ugly. Or it can you look can like lapis lazuli. It's beautiful. But at the end of the day, but it's still can... just a rock. Like, it doesn't do it. It's but just is a that good you, looking is rock. That you, it's like cyberpunk. But is that you softening <clears> the traditional one, which is polishing a turd, is often the phrase that people say. It's like, you can polish it as much as you want. It's still a turd. Probably. But, but that's you, something that's bad. A, a rock, a is, rock just, is just still just... You know what the annoying <laughs> thing is? I was going to go cheat for hire at the beginning, but yeah. then I went, no, that's dumb. I did it the first time and I regretted doing it. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> so, I had to keep such a straight face when you did that. Oh, well done. <laughs> oh. So that was, uh, that was 10 points. It was 10 points for Nick uh, in that final round. So, Will, have you got the final score? I do. Everyone's on 20. Everyone wins at a pizza hey, party. God. Hey. It was Everyone wins because... Pete's party, yeah. It's Pete's party time. Pa -pa 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 party. And everyone wins at a pizza party. That's amazing. I can't believe we all ended up... With 20 points. I feel like we lost after seeing that again. <laughs> I feel like ne for the next one of these, all of those pocketies should throw their keys in a bowl. <laughs> um, uh, uh, cool. That was fun. That was great. I like that. that. Was, was, that was that all right? That was, was fun. That was fun. Okay, that was good. frustrating and fun because I feel like there's like, I, 
you can envision one thing attached to one of those clues that will throw you on like the completely wrong path. Totally. For me, it was red. It was red barrels in that first one. There was no way I was thinking about the, it. The, the tricky thing is finding the right words to redact to yeah. give you enough information, but also to make you think about what that redacted word could yeah. be. Yeah, I had no doubt I wouldn't remember the script and what game it would be, but I'm shocking with names, and so I knew I'd just be like similar to the Mario, and just staring at that game like I could paint that game, but I'm like I paint. I can <laughs> like draw a picture of that game, but yeah. I'm like can't read names. So yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Cool. All right. Well, uh, Peter's party. Party Peter. Party Peter. Pete's party. Yeah. Don't Pete's party time. I was like, <laughs> we have so much potential to make it Peter's pocket it's party. A little bit. Have a party Bob in Peter's it. pocket, and he's like, it's party Peter, and Just a little else. bit. <laughs> party Peter work. Peter's. Pocket party feels dumb. More like the Super, key thing. No, 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 no. Peter's no, pocket no. party does sound like a party in yeah. your pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you went to a <gasps> yeah. movie theatre and cut a hole in the bottom of the popcorn. Mm. Uh, and on that note, we're going to go to a quick ad break and we'll be back with more after this. <laughs> Shenanigans, shenanigans, shenanigans. Stop it, shenanigans. Stop pushing. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Shenanigans, shenanigans, shenanigans. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. 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 Shenanigans. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Shenanigans, shenanigans, for shenanigans, shenanigans. Stop it. Shenanigans, for shenanigans, 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 shenanigans. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it! Most shenanigans, shenanigans, shenanigans. Bullshit. Bullshit. Ah! Hey! We're still looking for a compass, aren't we? In a yeah. drawer somewhere. Compass and a scrying mirror. That's so much better than <laughs> scrying. <laughs> Ornament, no, pick it up. What, what are you doing? Pick it up. Pick up the sword. Pick. That's fucking Narsil. Lady. That is Aragorn's sword. That is the sword that sm smote Sauron the Great. <laughs> was he the Great? I don't know. He was, he was great to someone. Uh, hang on. <laughs> I noted, I the, noted sword. the sword. You're saying you can't pick up the sword? That's Chekhov's sword. You can't put a sword there and not have us use it. There is a serial killer in a hotel and we're go and what we're finding is a mirror. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, fuck me! Mr. Pokey Loaf MD. Man, imagine Gruen analyzing these ads. <laughs> <laughs> very good. That's yeah. great. That's so great. funny. Uh, welcome back. Thank you very much to Vega Boss and Chris Ellingsworth for sending in those fantastic uh, word from our sponsors. And you saw a playback tease there for the first episode of At Dead of Night, you and me, Peter. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was a long record, and Will has done a magical job of pulling it into a very entertaining, I think, like 26 minutes it ended up being. So it's quite well a long done, one. Well done, man. 
That yeah, there are some there are plenty of moments in that game. That is a so for those of you who are old school good game pocket fans, um this is from Baggy Cat. The game is from the developers called Baggy Cat. They made Contradiction, the FMV game that started yes. our love of FMV games. I played Contradiction. Yes. And so this is a, a horror game. It's got some of the same cast. Uh, Jenks is not in it, but the guy who played Will? The Matt Smith looking guy. The Matt Smith looking I think I've got his mic. Hi. <laughs> the Matt Smith looking guy. I'm making up stage. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a horror game uh, that is that is more intense than we were expecting Matt it to Bajan. be in terms of just... The scares are real in that one. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's, I mean, you'll see it all in the game, but it's like, it's a, it's a really well put together FMV experience. Yeah. Like it's a good puzzle game and like we, we've enjoyed the first few hours of it now, I guess yeah. a couple hours. So, so yeah. Yep. So keep an eye out that, uh, for that, uh, the patrons, uh, from the third tier on the Patreon, Patreon or higher, uh, we'll get that on Sunday and, uh, for everybody else that'll be available on YouTube from Tuesday onwards. Uh, before we get on to the final segment for the show, we also need to, uh, do some, uh, back announced reviews. Oh yes. So if, uh, if you've been enjoying the, uh, podcast version of our, uh, shows pocket watch and uh, the backup news, uh, they exist as podcasts now. We've been asking you to leave reviews. They will read it out on the show. And uh, I have one from Blink Blue Eyes uh, titled So Much Pockety Goodness. Uh, and the review is, I am podcast illiterate, but I will figure out how it works because I love all things back pocket. So that's lovely. And you Thank did you. figure it out. Uh, we did also it. have a, a review from The Pants of a God mm. uh, who titles this review, Fantastic. Mm. And the mm. review mm. is, it's so good. Go on. We didn't show this to him. <laughs> just go, right go on, through. Stephanie. It's so good. I couldn't help myself but queef in excitement. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you swamp? Why have you swamped? <laughs> What's going on up there? There's a whole other set up there somewhere. And for those of you oh who don't God. get that <laughs> reference, uh, you need to watch the post show. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> good. That was a great story. That was my favorite post show last week. Or the week before. The week before, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was just, <laughs> just like... The hits just were, kept on There are a coming. couple of good. banger stories. Yeah. There's some emotes in the chat from that are referenced to it. Well, to it. <laughs> uh, so let's jump into the final segment for the evening, and that is a pock art. And this is a very special pock art because this is the We're Back Baby Patreon edition. Uh, this is brought to you, of course, by Nicrotex, a.k.a. Anton. We read one of Anton's tweets on the show uh, every week, and this one comes from February the 20th. Uh, quote, if you don't want the end of your favorite show spoiled, do not, I repeat, do not watch the final episode. That's good advice. That's good advice. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. 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 I think yeah. so too. That's good. Uh, so thank you very much to Anton for sponsoring uh, this segment. Now, the reason this is a special pock art yeah. is because this is where we are designing the T-shirt for the first set of Patreon merch that we are giving out uh, from the Wear Back Baby tier and above. Um, now, the way this works, you know, we've launched uh, merch for Back Pocket. We've got the Redbubble store, which tons of you guys have been buying stuff from and sending us your pictures, which we love seeing. Um, it's very exciting seeing all that stuff out there. But the very exclusive stuff is on our Patreon. If you subscribe to our Patreon at the uh, Wearback Baby tier or higher, then every three months of consecutive patronage will get you an exclusive uh, piece of merch. So this is the first one that we are designing now. We got a lot of suggestions from you guys. We whittled them down, and then we've put we put it out to a vote today to see which one we are going to be uh, designing. Because Pete, we put up two options. Yeah. So over the last twenty four hours, uh, everyone in uh, the Wearback Baby tier and above has been able to uh, vote on the Patreon poll, <clears throat> and <laughs> it came in very close. <laughs> so close. The two options were. Uh, the so the blank is the blank of the blank. A classic pocket a uh, classic. meme. Yeah. Yep. The penis is the nose of the face. Born of the penis the, is the nose of the face. The calf is the boob of the leg. Thank you very much. And, and, <laughs> and, and, and the little spilled tongue down is the into... testicle of the foot. <laughs> yep. It's still my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> it's very effective. It's so true. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> and the second option was uh, Gus's uh, moment of fear. Uh, which was explained in uh, the post show. Post show. Yeah. Uh, and it was, uh, it, it is the emote that you can use in the chat right now. Uh, whether you know the backstory or not, uh, that was going to be uh, jumped into in more depth. But 
the winner of the poll at fifty-two mm-hmm. percent of the vote oh. was the blank is the blank of the blank. The blank is the blank of the blank. So that is the that is the theme that we'll be developing a shirt around <laughs> the tonight. Face. There is the face. <laughs> it is just gorgeous. Oh God. <laughs> uh, I think the comment is oh, the, the tag butt. is just oops. It's, uh, like, it's typed in like back pocket underscore oops or whatever it is. <laughs> oh dear. Good. <laughs> <clears throat> um, right. Okay, so we are going to design uh, the blank of the blank of the blank t-shirt. So now the way that this will work is that um, Gus will be doing the thing that Gus uh, does over there on his computer and does a little fancy things where he manages to put everything to get together. <laughs> um, but this will just be a very rough whatever that will get polished, polished, polished over the course of the next week or so, yep. and then um, and then uh, put up onto the the Patreon ready to go. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I think yeah, the thing that'll be different about this is that usually with like the the pocket logos, I like sketch them and I do them like hand-drawn we could do hand-drawn elements but i think the idea is we're gonna kind of like photoshop some stuff together get a bit of a concept down and then i'm gonna go away and like absolutely polish it up into something that you would be proud to wear on a t-shirt so the what you are gonna see here this evening does not dictate the final design you will be getting on your uh, t-shirt because we have chosen a t-shirt so we have we have, we have. are will- we happy with design goes here yeah, I love it. I think that's great. Uh, so uh, we the want- design is the su- is the goes of the here. Have I misspelt something? <laughs> the no, no, no. I'm laughing because uh, we want we wanted your guys' input on this, and so start if you have any ideas, then start going the forward. Uh, but someone <laughs> managed to put the two things together. Confused echidna. The shart is the fear of the goose. <laughs> Confused again. Yes. <laughs> is it, one more time for me. The, the, shart. the shart is the fear of the goose. <laughs> so accurate. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we can That's build something funny. like that. That's the idea. But I think so we're going to open this up to the floor. Uh, but there have been requests that the that the um, the reference can be cryptic, so it's got to be a G-rated shirt so that people can wear it in public and it can be okay. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah. I like. I will be getting this and so i definitely want it to be something that is like you know you we can, wear can in front of the kids yeah we can wear around yeah. yeah um so uh i mean the obvious place to start would be like redacted or blank is oh. the blank of the blank like some sort of like you just have the words and it's almost like i don't know like a cool indie yeah simplistic kind of thing yeah i suppose like or like a game of hangman almost um you could do and it could be you sharting I think I was kind of like, yeah, we could, I mean. Oh, I see what's going on here. Start with something that's just like text-based. I have, I I will say, like I have put a few little layers here that I thought, because what's fun is I can save these and then we can look at what they look like on a t-shirt model. The white shirt is photoshopped on because the shirt is uh, probably going to be on the lighter end of the spectrum. Is that correct, Gus? I so we want so. to see it, the design on the the color of shirt that it's it's. As to, usual, so. the whole Patreon thing about what our design is and what thing people have already started paying for might at this stage be a white shirt. So we want to design something for that. If we can customize the color later on, we will, or we will let people have that option. But let's just go with that for safety. I think makes the best. <laughs> so please know what a, a porncore bishop suggested. I feel like it needs to have that phrase across it, and then just a long list of words for each spot going down the shirt. Like it's a choose your own thing. Oh, oh that's, that's cool. cool. So you could serve circle it all like i mean you wouldn't but it's there as like yeah it totally like that's how the yeah. there's some way of like like a word cloud or something around uh, it or like yeah. and, and cool. it, so it's just like dot 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 whatever yeah um, that's nice which it, it's, a bad idea. it's very much a game of uh cards against humanity right it's like yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like you want the uh hit hitler something card and, and the mm. thing about that is you could actually put tons of words in there that are like you could you could put like you know nose and calf and that sort of thing but you could also put in like Root. severed and Scardy, I'm sorry, I put those two things together, but like, uh, you know, like, like it's about it's the fun. show scattered all over the place yeah, as well. Yeah, that's true. And then we could just have like a spam of back pocket words from the audience, and we'll yes, just, we'll just that's pull great. It in. I think okay, it could be fun. So, uh, that is kind of perfect. Like, I really like that because we we were struggling with the idea of like, how do we put one word up there? How do we redact it? Do we do like the something is the something and the something, and then big black bars over it? But we feel like as a t-shirt that might not work. I so complete as a human. <laughs> yeah. Is everything okay? Steph has a drinking problem. <laughs> the drink splashed back up into her eyeball from the cup. Peter, that's a problem. That's a problem. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Tentacle. That word. Press X. Oh, oh. Wait. What are you doing right now? Me? Yeah. Nothing. What if? It was- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, what if? Okay. What if? What if? What if it was a word? What if? What if it, the word blank 
was made up of tons of words. Yeah. Okay. So it was like the le- yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. word so that you can have <laughs> like or or it's a block like yeah, a, almost yeah, yeah. a redacted block of just multiple words there I, so that you could actually wear the t-shirt in public but on it it does have words like shark sneaky, yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. queef. Yeah. And yep. Sheath. Are we thinking it would be, I mean, yeah, I, this is all going to be messy as I do apologize, but are we thinking it like when you say that, is it going to be, it builds the word like one word at a time or lots of <clears throat> like tiny words filling up a letter? Because it this, could be this like, take some time, but like. Totally. Uh, I, I, I think we need to make it like, I think that's a really good path to go down. Uh, it could be that the word blank has, like, you just put, write the word blank and fill it with. Like small words, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or you could do because we're we're maybe getting stuck on the idea of blank, right? Like it could just be a redacted bar, yeah, yeah, and that be full of words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fine with that as well. Yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, yeah. Which would make it easier for you, (laughs) but it's like it is fun that the word, the orientation, the (laughs) I went to write cock. The giggle. I don't want that on my t-shirt while he was doing it. Yeah. (laughs) Can I? This is the dirtiest thing I've done. Can I also just say that we've like we've come up with the design that has the most the the least amount of drawing and the most amount of spelling. So fuck you all. So (laughs) so Rust Station has has uh, and Luxton sixty four back to back have put into words better than I did the idea. Uh, uh, Can you scroll back up? Use it. Use the word blank as a mask for the word cloud yes. is what yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Russ said and then um, and then the other option was redacted would look heaps cooler so <laughs> I, I, yeah I think if redacted you bar. yeah I, I think a redacted thing mm. that because um, also I, I checked with Patreon and we can get some test prints of this shirt yeah, oh, great. Really? to see how it goes so whether or not uh, like and again I don't have a design brain but whether it's a like a black redacted bar and in it is like pale grey words or or in it is like white words in a black redacted bar or something. That, yeah. Yeah. So that it is like that block because I think yeah. that, that will look weird and messy. Yeah. 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 Already, but, yeah. It's gonna be hard to it's gonna be hard to get the definition of the. But having a a, a <laughs> bar and then it, within that is a ton of different words. Yeah. That could and it could be like it could be a bar or it could be, uh, it could be more like highlight a redaction, like make have that have some like curve to it. Like have oh a, yeah yeah like oh, rather like, than being like look a, like it's being texted over rather than blockiness looks blockiness looks nice though looking at it but there could be something in it being like well, it has that sort of frayed like edge obviously stuff the, yeah someone's yeah, done someone's, someone's used a, a, yeah. a, a text the numbers over it. Mason the numbers Mason <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 I like yeah. the idea of it looking like texter that gives it a bit more of an organic quality well if we I do also that, think that there needs to be like a, a little pockety on there somewhere like totally. even down the bottom so it just it still references back to our show I reckon that's a great idea like and also with the redacted stuff like we could also play around with like just the edges of an like yeah as you said it looks like texter has a little bit of a word underneath it yeah, yeah. subtly so it does see that it's scrubbed out and then like i think in neutral in white but looking it's all going to be roughed up i think like it's a t-shirt so it's going to have a bit of that sort of texturized uh feel to it so it looks a little grubby so it looks like it's on a page of a document a lot of people wanting a black shirt or maybe, i feel like a black shirt with it, white it, 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 it'd be nice to have a um, movie like the that, that navy that's even in the background of our yeah. Thing. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, like Patreon have some options with this stuff, so we'll go through and have a look. We're starting with white because white is just the safest version of what it can be. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and we'll see. Like we'll go back and we'll have a look. We know there's white and black, but we actually we'll we'll have to. Um. The uh, I'm putting a. <laughs> I saw someone suggested. Um, <laughs> someone suggested the. Oh yeah, that that could be cool. Um. Uh, some pictures drawn in there as well. Yeah. Um. Like pictures of things, maybe instead of words of things um, in the redacted bar. Oh, yeah. Um, which could be a That would idea. be more graphic and, and, like, cool than just a word shirt. Um, well, I like the word shirt if there's, as you mentioned, Steph, a pocket A little in pockety there. somewhere, yeah. Like a little something there that just sells the fact that it is that, uh, you know, he's sticking around, he's there somewhere. Mm. But, again, it doesn't have to take up this much room on the shirt. But, I mean, I already even like just how I, – I do like big blocky text, so this is kind of – Doing it for me. Mm. Um, but if there was a pockety, what star would we want? Where would we want him? Would he want to be like slightly more sort of a symbol version of a pockety versus like... Yeah, maybe like a, an outline version of the pockety and he's just like uh, hanging out down the bottom right-hand corner or something. Could he be like looking up, kind of like looking a bit anxious or like... What, or what cheeky, ex- a bit cheeky. I think cheeky. he's, he's yeah. either cheeky or he's terrified, right? And maybe like he's, he's either- holding a texter. 
Ooh. Oh, like he redacted. Oh. Redacted. That's not bad. Oh, what if he? What if he's um? Uh, what if he he's censoring is, us? Uh, 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 so again, no design brain. So I'm wondering whether or not him off somewhere. <laughs> so like, he's been um, he's just been gagged. It'll come up. <laughs> <laughs> Unbalances. The show, yeah. So something like this. That's right. Where he, oh, I like that. where if you gave him a texter and he's he's like hiding the words that he scrubbed out. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. he's like terrified that you're gonna read yeah. the monstrous things that have been said on the <laughs> show. Because um, that one has hands, right? I actually, uh, kind of yeah. liked that one where he just was blocking writing. everything. Yeah, blocking yeah. everything. Yeah, because if he's blocking stuff and he's got a texter, you know that he's been scratching the things behind, and he's still just trying to use his body to totally. Block more. Yeah. Yeah, I think like him sitting somewhere, possibly even just looking kind of like underneath it. Or something. I like that as a version, and then I feel like there should be another version. And then <laughs> He's we can... just nervously hiding behind stuff as well. <laughs> yeah, I like him. I feel like I like him bigger and in the middle. Me too. Yeah, I liked him. That... I liked him front and center. That's cute. He shouldn't be. Yeah, he should be like. He should definitely be in front of the thing that he's redacted. Yeah, yeah. Have the like stuff. the shirt. So he should the be the front layer, and not drawn. be behind black bars anywhere. Say so again, a little louder. He should be in front of all the black bars for oh, sure. I don't think so. I think there looks good. You reckon? Yeah. He's been redacted as well. Yeah. I th- to me oh, that I think that conf- more to the left. So the, from- the only thing is you start to lose the the, and we know what we're reading, and so that can be a bit tricky. To but so does the audience. That's true. I, the- I think if you put him more to the left, you can still read both of the thes. But yeah, there. My thing with that is to me that's confusing because it's like. He's he's being he's, redacted. He's yeah. He's underneath the redacting, which means he's sitting on top of the words. Like he's been yeah. Uh, like if you took away the redaction, then what you've got is a pockety blocking out a part of a word. Yeah. Um, I think I think him up the front with a texter. Like, and, and tell, little, it tells the story as opposed to this is just like we put pockety on it a bit. We've got him with hands, right? Oh, totally. Yeah, well, and I, like he's doing a little bit of this, bit of like. Oh yeah, God. he's got. He's got. They've seen everything. He's got like Freddy hands and in, in this cringe mm-hmm. version. Mm-hmm. That I also feel like, and again, mm-hmm. I feel like we're going to scrub him up a little bit. We actually did this before. We tested a pocket to look a little cooler. Um, so we'll probably do something design wise so it looks a bit like a sort of vintage version of it on the t-shirt um, versus just it won't be super cartoony. Um, so that'll help, I think. Yeah, nice. But um, <clears throat> yeah, where are we? Hang on. Like if we gave him, give him some oh. like. Well, does he have, like, ink on him? Yeah, see, I think BMAC's onto something with, like, he hasn't actually finished blocking out the last word. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So he's, that, that's what he's that's kind of in the hiding. process of yeah. doing down there. Mm-hmm. And so he's, like, maybe blur isn't covered, but his hand is blocking a bit more of the B and the L that is still there. I think yeah. it needs to be bigger than that. Like, he, he should be prominent. We can move a lot of this stuff around still. Um, the only issue there is I think we're running into... Is also that like do we still want to we still want to have all the white words on it as well? And if he's black texturing it, how are all the white words there? I I, I feel like maybe the white words is like it's overcomplicating it. Yeah, yeah. like it now is. that we have the this pockety a, in there, yeah. it looks really stylish. Yeah, okay. I think that that yeah, if like the words is one idea and this is something else, like yeah. him okay. him being involved here. Um, uh, a couple of things in the chat I saw. Nicrotex suggested, can we replace the word blank, like that's been redacted? Yep. With Cock, nose, and face. Yeah. <laughs> I would have because thought you so. you can't yeah. actually see yeah. them. And, and, yeah, and yeah. redact them in a way like you kind of have now, maybe a little less, so you can kind of make out the shape of the letters behind yeah, 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 in a way yeah, that yeah. you're like, oh, if I looked at that long enough, I'd work. Yeah, I, if I, yeah, if, if someone told me what it was, I'd see it. Yeah. But yeah. not the, and when you're getting a cafe, the barista's not going to be like, why does your T-shirt say cock? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, that is something that we should definitely... Right, in. But, uh, well, the <laughs> Duke is the Cox. Is the Cox? Uh, no, look, we can work it out. As You'll figure do. out the. It could just be penis. Like, it literally could be the nose is the penis of the face. Because that it's is the original. It's gotta be the original. It's that gotta is be the, the original. OG. The original. Well, it was it penis of the face? The, yeah, the, the nose is the penis of the face. I thought it was cock of the face. It's is it cock? That's cock of the face. Yeah. This yeah. Is the, this <laughs> Will's like, no, it's definitely cock. Yeah. It's definitely cock. <laughs> is it cock? Is it definitely cock? <laughs> I thought it was penis. Yeah, Will, you cut that. I Oh, sorry, no, that. The cock is the nose of the face? No, the, nose is, the nose is the cock of the, the face. The nose of the cock of the, is yeah, the yeah, face, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The cock. Is sorry. Miles the Ross here? To see he's talking about cocks on faces? I think he Nobody is. Nobody knows more about a cock on a face than Miles. <laughs> I love now that the nose is the cook of the face. 
The cook of the face. We're, we're, as I said, I'm going to look it up right now because there's a lot of people saying a lot of different things, and I trust you, Will, but Just apparently not enough. Just in time. Uh, where would I find this? Where did we? I saw it heaps recently. It was in the first Best Friend Forever. It was the first Best Friend Forever, but uh, and oh, okay, second one. Yeah, but uh, no, but I I've seen it. You cut a hype reel recently where. <clears throat> what's it, what was that for? This is like a strange. Oh, is it, effect. It's yeah, for the, it's isn't it for the? It's for the. It's for the YouTube channel. It's literally like our thing on the YouTube channel. You said the nose is the Baron Stein of the. <laughs> 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 it's the back pocket twenty twenty. Here we go. You say it in this? I'm so certain I do. That's so not in this. Here it is. There you go. But that's not the first time you said it. No. You said it in Best Friend Forever before that. Yeah. We were referencing that we there. We were referencing the original thing. There it is, though. Yeah. There it is. That's what That's what I said. Oh, sorry. Text, I thought you were talking about the one in the studio. It's text on screen. It's text, text on, on screen. screen. Yeah. It's the, 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 the cock of the face. It's even, there we go. It's even italicized. It's the cock of the face, everyone. <laughs> it's even italicized. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm so glad we got through that. Will's like, I wrote cock. And I italicized it. <laughs> I know it was. I fun. know it. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Um, right. So he's got a little texter. He's hanging on to it now. My controversial, maybe not controversial opinion, is that I would like to see just what it looks like if he's big and covering everything, like in the middle. <clears throat> but maybe it's too much. Take maybe the black add- bar off the last um, off of the face. Take the black bar off the face word, please, please. The black bar <coughs> of the face. Yeah, because he had <laughs> of the. Uh, oh, that's his blank. His blank, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was his hand. Use your layers, Gus. Uh, Sassless is very excited that Pockety is left handed. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, Pete, your suggestion was to put what where? Well, fa- like we're putting face right, as the last word. word. And to, uh, it was just to get rid of the redacted bar on that because we, we, we're hiding that. Right, right. He's hiding that. He hasn't finished the job yet. Uh, it's Jep says, so this is what is known as a pock block. <laughs> <laughs> Good. 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 <clears throat> I mean, yeah, there's... Everyone's excited that he's left-handed. I mean, left-handed people are excited that there's some left-handed representation happening. And right-handed people are like, we'll give him this one. Yeah, they can have it. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, we fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I kind of like him that way now, but I'm not. I'm just. We'll come back. Um, that way, that way's got a better. It it's cutting against the weighting of the letters. Yeah, better. I think. Like maybe the <laughs> um, redacting is a bit scrappier. Well, I still think it would look cool if it looks like texture. Yeah, sorry, that's what I was sort of thinking. How we go about that? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, well, look, let's just. Gotta yeah, you can just texture. It. Just go for it. Mm. I love this. Th- leave it as this. <laughs> <laughs> can you get rid of? Can you? Uh, I want to see it on this. Third statement. I want to see it on this. Can you get rid of the words "the nose is" and then "of the face"? <laughs> Just show me that. <laughs> the nose is what? Just get rid of the nose is and get rid of "of the face" as well. Just hide those. <laughs> and then. And then go and Can let's go see it. Let's see it on the shirt. There you go. Yeah, there it is. This is what it looks like when people badly <laughs> Photoshop my face onto porn because it's always <laughs> like my face doing a really nice like smile and then something really like graphic, graphic underneath. It's the con. <laughs> it's just like that's not the face anyone makes when they're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there it is. <laughs> I mean, that's the option you lost out on, everyone. <laughs> we should just sell that in the red bubble. Yeah, that that, that can still store. exist. Yeah, one yeah we'll put yeah. that in the red let's, bubble let's, store. Let's, let's bank that one. For sure. Red bubble store. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's going in the red bubble store. You guys were saying. Yeah, we've right. somehow reverted to the worst. There, yeah, yeah, that's what that's we're great. talking that about. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, it's still, okay. <laughs> the nose is the cook of the face. <laughs> it's hard to rub stuff out. I think, yeah, 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 yeah. We know you'll do it better for the actual version. Yeah. It's okay. It just doesn't need to be perfect. Maybe Cock is a hard one because COC looks like so iconic. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's that kind of like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. More on, cock. More, more, more on cock. more on cock. You're walking around with a You're t-shirt that, that like... says cock. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Layers. Use your layers. They're all there. Evil spy boy. Gus is having trouble rubbing it out. 
<laughs> oh, come on. You guys are funny. You guys are so it's funny. But very naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, a Timothy says, bigger brush for cock, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> that looks good. Uh, cock definitely needs more etching out. This cock is not the discussion I should have tonight. Jam boned. Cock is a hard one. Winky face. It's good. It's good. <laughs> They're all good. These are all great. Um, I might even add an element of colour to it. Like, I like, well, something that we could do that I liked was. Um, that those red letters before, like the word. Oh, uh, yeah. I might not. Oh, like it implies that it is, it can be switched out. Yeah, something uh, like yeah. that. Yep. Might help it stick out a little bit so it doesn't just. Uh, yeah, because it's too hard I, to read the word cock at the moment because someone's scribbled it out. <laughs> I like that with the red. We, yeah, yeah. It can like or, it could use some more scribbling out, or, be, or we could look at the version with big pockety again. As it'd well. be cool if that if that um, red was the was the pocket orangey red. As yes, well. definitely. Yeah. Yep. So. I mean, yeah, it's where do we put pockety? Well, uh, thicker on cock, says El Beno. What if he um? What if he's if he's bigger, he'll be covering the words more. Yeah, I yeah, I still <laughs> like bigger. I like bigger as well. Like he's still doing the thing. Like it's almost like he's come towards the camera to be like, don't look behind me. Like what's yeah. behind me? Yeah, this he definitely needs to be covering the K. I think. Yeah, <laughs> not sure about the red cock. Well, now it's now you'd have no idea. Yeah, which is a good thing. How do I feel about that? He looks cool. Um, cool. I think you need a little. A part of me, like, I love the the texture being rubbed out. Um, bigger is better. We're seeing. But I do like the idea of. Um, if would I we be a, would we be able to get a, a a poll from one of the mods? Bigger is better? Question mark. Yes or no? Mm. Good. This is yes. Um, no is small in the corner. So G Gus, I do like him doing this? <laughs> Just being absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's him going like, don't look. <laughs> Jules says, I'd request to test drive the design on people who don't know the show to see how obvious cock is. <laughs> oh, someone in the chat, uh, the, who yeah, was it? The K, uh, the K has got to be covered. Leo Matt said, why are we rubbing out nose and face though? Which is an interesting point. Because like, because we want we want them to look like they could be rude words. We know what it is. Again, there's the idea that they, they can be like yeah. swapped out. Gus, yeah. for me, I feel like a proper redaction looks better. Okay. Like, there's a lot going on. There's text. There's a little pocket with disembodied hands. It can still have the frayed edges, but yeah, the yeah, scribble no, kind sec. of makes I the whole shirt look quite yeah. messy. More, yeah. More like, yeah, more, more like, like a those, highlighter. Yeah. Li like a, a black yeah, highlighter. Like put highlighter, one yeah. stroke through the whole word. A redactorator. Yeah. I know what you mean. Give me a sec. Talk amongst yourselves. Uh, is bigger better? How is that poll going? That's what Nightcrush. Yeah. A uh, single, much is thicker text. Better, line. Exactly. Um, yeah. Yes, 58%, uh, and no, 42%. Um, so yes is all the um, men voting and no is all the women. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think, um, yeah, I like it. I think it looks good bigger covering the thing. Yeah, nice. But that's right. That, yeah, that sort of thing where it's... But thicker than but that. But thicker. Twice that. Is thicker better? Hang on. Yes. It's how you Give use it. One sec. Make it. And he's using it wrong at the moment. Yeah. Because I can still read the word cock really <laughs> Um The blocked words mean you can make other phrases. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. The, the whole concept is that like, even though we know it says the nose is the cock of the face because that's the OG. It could be it could anything. Be, it could be, it could be whatever you want. Anything, yeah. And so if it's blocked enough that it could be anything, then that's good. Why is he scared to go big? He's scared to go big. There we go. There that's you good, go, though. Angus. That's what we're talking about. That's good. Yep. No, oh, no, God, that's, I'll tell you what, four-letter word and you see K, it's either fuck or cock. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's no question about it. <laughs> no one's got a T-shirt that says cook. Some <laughs> people have... No, they don't. No. See? Yeah. The, but then the, you put the perfect redaction on the bottom, Gus. Yeah. Perfect redaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Top one's oh. got to have more as well. Yep. With you. Yep, yep, yep. Well, uh, these will be not copy pasted, so they'll look. Yeah, so they look like different scratches. Yep. And then with the pockety over the middle of the whole thing, I feel like that's enough. That K is so iconic. Everyone loves the K. Uh, yes, 68%. Bigger is better. That looks good. That that lo looks that's great. looking pretty cool, man. I love that. That's looking like cool. Without the pen kind of thing, but 
I, I think maybe we can. Oh, I feel like I think he should have the pen. In, yeah. in his right, in the in the back, whatever the like background hand is. Definitely the right hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel like yeah, I I agree. I like him on a tilt more though. Having the pen implies that he is doing all this, and it because he's trying to protect the show. Yeah, he's trying to stop us from getting cancelled by people who see yeah. the truth of what we are. And the way- Raj, which Raj, is filthy Raj, individuals. Raj is walking towards that wall, and he's like. <laughs> Raj, don't look. Raj, don't look. Raj, don't look. <clears throat> this shirt will be called He's Raj. He's drawing the texter. He's drawing the texter hand. This is amazing. He's Live. Tell you what, it takes the man 45 minutes to redact something properly. <laughs> He's on the hand in 20 seconds. <laughs> A nice hand as well. Look at that. Oh, sad. Oh, it'll show you. Remember when we watched Pockety being born? Yeah. yeah. So oh, exciting. do we want to see original Pockety? Not right Fo- now. Focus. 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 Because that was an idea for a future bit of merch would be the original Pockety, like on a vintage shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that would be cool. He never made it to. Uh, I don't remember yeah. him changing that much. It's like, about this it's like the Simpsons that were on that uh, late night show. Antonio, uh, Antonio de second gifting five tier one subs to the community. Thank you very much, Antonio. Yay. Good Antonio, lord, Antonio, Antonio. 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 Every week, Antonio. <laughs> what a hero, de second. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, are we look like we're, we're close to something that again will be t-shirtized and. Uh, yeah, for a- for the for the um, sake of the people who are stressing out about it. Block the K a little better with that middle um, redaction. Just make it a bit bigger again. Middle redaction. Yeah. I mean, we know just, what it just is. Just drag it out more, dude. Just go fucking ham. Yeah. It's all gone. There's no way you would know what that is. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's okay. That's good. That's good. That's, that's, good. that's good. Okay. I love that. I love it, and I feel like it would work on a grey t-shirt as well. Maybe like a dark grey would still work for people who are afraid of white. Hype train. Where are these coming from? You guys are all legends. Thank you so much. Oh, amazing. All right. <coughs> well, that's, a great, that's a great. That's a great t-shirt. So that's a very cool that t-shirt. That's a great t-shirt. I love that. I would wear that. That's awesome. And uh, and like Gus, you were concerned about like the crispness of Pockety and maybe doing some like. Can you show us the um the other version of Pockety again? Like the yes, the that textured looks one. Good the way it is now. Though I don't. I, that's I, a, that's I will go much. on record as saying I do not like this textured version of Pockety. Yeah. So I know it would be something else. I just want to make that clear for the audience. It, no, it it's wouldn't be. be it's, it's, not, it's not the misprint vintage version. It's just like I think when you do print something that comes straight out of like digital like this, yeah. it can feel a bit like, I don't know, a bit Mickey Mousey on the yep. T-shirt. Yep. So yeah. it'll, uh, it'll have What's some design, oh some uh, funky and, aesthetic. Some Antonia! And clever sauce. And clever sauce. Oh my goodness! They have the hype a, train continues with all these donations. Thank you so much. They're having a hype off. They haven't. It's hype mania. You know why this is happening? <laughs> why? Because cock finally got redacted properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, a little bucket fell down. Confident being able to do it. Um, <laughs> Zoom out so I can see your amazing face wearing this t-shirt, Gus. Yeah. I want to <laughs> see on. the confidence of a can man you get a wearing full this shirt. You guys? Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, cool. Because oh, I got it. Exciting. Um, uh, it's got you on it. Oh, sorry. Full screen on us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. sure. Um, Sorry. I feel like, yeah, and, and yeah, whether he has some like ink splotches on him or something, just some sort of something about him, pockety, mm. that he's done. Um, <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> is it full screen? Yeah, 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 no one can see that. Only we can see it, can but they can't. <laughs> oh, right. I'm <laughs> uh, there we go. And I think I missed some. Uh, Wayne King, thank you very much for gifting the tier one sub to Ice Cube. That's not wanking fast, is it? It is wanking fast. It is. Wow. Our favourite wank. And, oh, it's Jeff gifted five tier one subs to a bunch oh of people. Oh, my God. Wank, 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 wank. watching right now. <laughs> Noam Chomsky. Uh, Gus, I love it. That's Done. amazing. I love it. It's so good. It's so good. All right. Think of that T-shirt walking around the floor of PAX. <laughs> I saw I think and all the people being like if you know you know if you know you know I saw Vasuvius <laughs> ask earlier if you like the design and I hope you do uh, can you get in to the Patreon tier now to be a part of it you absolutely can um, it's not even just like this month like February uh, March April it this shirt will be available until the end of uh, April May June July. So partway through July, we will design 
Is that correct? Well, Sorry. I might have to work out the dates. Yeah. Halfway individual- through July, we're going to design the next uh, merch item so that the people who are on that the first three months get this and then at the end of the next three months they get the second item so that the item will be replaced before the end of six months and then the end before the end of nine months and 12 months so that people so if you got in (laughs) it's a weird system so we what we are doing is we are we are waiting for clarity like whiteboard (laughs) yeah yeah, yeah. Equations. <laughs> Nose. <face. laughs> it was cock. It was um, uh, We're waiting for some clarity from Patreon, but basically, it should be if you sign up at least today for the rest of the month and next month, you yeah. should be fine. Like if you sign up somewhere between now and then. Um, <clears throat> the question is because these all pop. As soon as people pay and everyone pays for the third month at the beginning of the month, mm-hmm. that yep. means we need to have the new T-shirt in the system before the first of that month. Of the next so month, So, it yeah. might be that we, that, yeah. Anyway, sign up now for the tier to be safe. And if you can't do it this month, then sign up next month and you will still be good. Uh, good, Gus. I'm glad that this is where you're spending a lot of your time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like... So I love this T-shirt. We're going to continue working on the design and sort of tweaking. Um, we'll look at the colors as well as like what this yeah. T-shirt can be printed on as well. Um, and then uh, I definitely think that we need to put Gus's face on a T-shirt. Yeah. So I would like to um, have a design of Gus's fear face on mm-hmm. a red bubble T-shirt that people can buy. That's Gus? If Gus want. is okay with Gus, that. Gus, are you okay with that? It is your face. How That's the face of a man <laughs> no, who is feels good. shouting with excitement at the <laughs> prospect. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, everyone, for uh, all the um, all the uh, advice, all the support. Uh, we are excited to be able to be getting this stuff out to you, uh, guys. Starting, yeah, come on, just come, come in. Come on back. Like <laughs> <You> did <laughs> for me, me? please. Back to show. You got your seat back. It's not special anymore. Oh. <laughs> now that I know how easy it is, it just doesn't have the same uh, ring. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, I could fucking Photoshop that, so I'll put that up on the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I didn't think this... Was- I could not, my friend. <laughs> not at all. Um, uh, cool. Well done, everybody. Yeah. That was fun. We did it. Yeah. Nice. Good. Good. Um, Nick pooted in that seat. Yes. Uh, that is it for the show. We are done for another... Uh, Until bro- tomorrow morning, bright now. tomorrow morning, yeah. 9 o'clock uh, Australia time. Of course, we do still have the post-show. Australia time. time. <laughs> Sydney time. Hey, <laughs> you guys actually say Australia time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sydney time. Yeah, we're doing uh, the... Is it the... What is it? PlayStation State of Play? Uh, uh, yeah, State yeah, of Play. Stream yep. from 9 a.m. ADT on the same... Probably night. from like... 8.50-ish, so yeah, yeah, we kind of have a yeah. bit of preamble. And Can you set a reminder on Twitch? Like, can you say when, you know, click when we go live in the morning? Or when we go up? live. When we go live. Out. Out. There we so go. That'll that'll do so it. we'll probably go live at quarter to nine with a five-minute timer. Yeah. So the second this finishes, go to bed, uh, put a pot of coffee on for the morning, and then we'll see you right and early. Don't even close this page. Just leave this page open. It'll yeah. just reactivate when we're live. A massive thank you to all of our Back Pocket patrons <clears> who make this show possible, uh, and a huge thank you to our top stitchers, uh, you, uh, all, all you guys who have commercials, segments named after you. That is Reese, uh, Orinishi, Tim, Mason, not Nathan, Slowpunk, Loki Cat, Raj, Akarash, Camo, Avexia, and Nicrotex, aka Anton. Uh, so thank you very much, you all, uh, for the incredible support that you have given the show. We love doing things like the commercials, like the segments. We love that you guys actually have some ownership over what's going on. Totally. I mean, those commercials are so great. I, I reckon, I think we should put them up on Twitter. Oh, that's a great idea, yeah, Angus, Jeffrey, Bruce, Oh, Ronald. wow, Gus just did a thing. That, uh, like, I was like, we haven't <laughs> talked about this. Uh, uh, yeah, are you all happy with that? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. okay. So we, we put... Um, I that's think- what we were talking about before when we had a little <laughs> tat-a-tat. <laughs> I think uh, uh, we put... Ni- Nicrotex put his up the other the other yep. week. Um, uh, Al, Al, Albert? Um, Anton? Anton. Anton, uh, yeah. Nicrotex, Anton <clears throat> put his up. Um, and that one is just so damn delightful, just watching Pete put that voice on. So anyone who wants to see many 
any of the other performances. Plus it's my second act. best vocal performance it this is. week. <laughs> yeah, and he wasn't even wearing glasses for that one, doing that. <laughs> you look ridiculous like that. <laughs> but we, as we mentioned, we've got uh, a few more. We've got a few more of those to make, and uh, we've come up with some. We've already come up with like three other types of ads that we want to parody, uh, putting them together. Yeah. So there's so much material to yep. draw inspiration from. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna start sharing those because uh, I just feel like that. Yeah, they need to get out there into the world. Uh, and uh, but speaking of people who sponsor the show, stick around because Raj sponsors the post show, which we'll be jumping into. If you are um, ten, uh, the sorry tier three or above, then you can watch the post show. Just head to the Discord, and the link will be there in the post show channel to be able to uh, check out this evening's show, where we're gonna see the original Pockety, the OG Pockety uh, in its inception, in its original form, and possible retro t-shirt uh, red bubble launch who knows fantastic yeah, nice. uh, head to patreon.com <laughs> forward slash back pocket uh, to join the patreon head to youtube.com forward slash back pocket channel for that uh, at the pockety on twitter and redbubble.com forward slash people forward slash back hyphen pocket uh, to buy that merch three things before we go there's a little scotty in the top right corner yeah, she's oh. so cute. She's, she's sleeping, a, sleeping on her mat. Like, I'm trying next to, to the horror, long, but I'm distracted. <laughs> then I'm going to eat an art pocket as well. <laughs> it looks like some Monty Python <laughs> shit. <laughs> Number two, William. Oh, oh, oh look at you, William. Don't, oh. I, I know what, <laughs> go to sleep. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and I know you, what three. He fell. I know what three is. Uh, so and then just one more thing. Yep. No. Just one more thing. Oh. <laughs> it's party, yeah. It's beer party time. Pa 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 party. Oh Crutch shot, everybody. <laughs> and just a heavy drop of it was some expensive my phone, phone, phone <laughs> headphones and a lot of equipment. And it was worth it. <laughs> All right, back it out. We'll see you at the post show. Back it out. <laughs>